Welcome back to RPG Lemon Break 2018. My name's Kyle. I'll be your host for the uh, next run here, Lunath Silver Star's Story, run by High Spirits. And without any further ado, I will uh, go ahead and hand it over to High Spirits. Thank you, Grimora, and welcome. I am uh, High Spirits. Woo, High Spirits. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Why am I high spirits? Because I'm usually in a good mood. <laughs> that was literally the whole idea behind my name. And uh, I'll be running Lunar, the Silver Star, the original. Uh, you know, there's been five million remakes of this game alone, but this is the original. And on the couch with me, I have uh, this young lady over here. Hi, I am the RPG chick. And I am Riku Player. Thank you. Um, this is the opening song. You uh, donated for us to sing it, but we're not going to let you get off that easy. You're going to have to wait till the end of the run, run to hear it. And uh, yeah, that'll be a, a quite the quartet that we have planned for this uh, opening song. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> 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 so we are about to start, if you are ready over there. Awesome. Then in, uh, hold on a sec. Okay, three, two, one, go. Let's do this. So this is Lunar, the Silver Star, and uh, we get a little uh, opening small cutscene here. We learn about Dragon Master Dine, um, the hero that worked with the goddess and and worked with the and controlled the dragons to save the time, and then our intrepid hero who wants to be Dragon Master Dine. He's got some lofty goals, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wouldn't you think if you came from exactly the same village that, hey, I can totally be this guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Alex the hero and the annoying flying rat and all. <laughs> and the most intense staring contest you're ever going to see. <laughs> oh, he blinked. Alex lost. <laughs> so some of the art in this game is amazing. Yeah, this is like the epitome of uh, old anime. <laughs> and the lip sync too. So this game, I think, in Japan was originally released released in 1991, and then it came out in '92 for uh, for English. Now here comes the other useless guy, but this guy's not important because he doesn't get a voice actor, so don't worry about that. You can tell who's important because they actually talk in this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is your friend, Ramus, and the only thing he wants, Alex wants to go on an adventure to become like Dragon Master Dine. Uh, Ramus just wants money. That's, or he just wants money. That's all he cares about. So he's going to want us to go on an adventure to find the legendary white dragon and get his... Uh, dragon but you know in order to become strong like dragon master dine you kind of you kind of gotta have the right motivation right like this kid right here like he dragon master dine was born and raised in this village a long time ago when i grow up i want to be a dragon master that's why i'm eating my wheaties <laughs> so that kid knows what he's doing best, best game plug for a cereal ever <laughs> <laughs> no that's actually irrelevant because at the end there's kind of something that's a little hilarious that unless you actually talk to that kid you have no idea why it's in the game <laughs> <laughs> Oops! Only first small mistake. Oh, only, only, only one so far. I'm gonna keep yeah. count that. Keep counting them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, a little side area here to meet my girlfriend Luna. Although they don't really say they're together, but he, she does say, "My love, <laughs> I'll miss you." Uh oh, it's time for the la la las. So we're going to meet Luna. In this version, she's basically non -impor not important at all. In every other version, she's the main central character of the entire game. Good morning, Alex. You're late again. <laughs> Did Ramus say to find you? <laughs> <laughs> you like that giggle? <laughs> <laughs> really anxious to talk you down. But then he's probably hatching another harebrained scheme. This is actually, I think, the longest cutscene in the game. I think Let's so. Let's just practice our song for the festival. So yeah, you can't skip cutscenes, but you can instant mash through text. Now, you think they're working and celebrating for the festival, so they would be really happy to be doing this. But you notice that Luna's the only one they're having fun. <laughs> Alex is unimpressed. He looks, he looks angry, and Doll looks like afraid. I mean, that is the most terrified face I have ever seen. And Alex is like, are we doing this again? He wants his ocarina already. <laughs> <laughs> in this version, it's a harp. In every other version, it's an ocarina. 
Like, when you take the remakes of this game, they literally changed half of the game, if not more of it. And it makes no sense at all. Oh my gosh. But at least there's some quality of life improvements as you go from one game to the other. Yeah. At least Luna's the one nice looking sprite that they actually drew in the game. I still like Mia's sprite, even though she looks older in this version. <laughs> she looks twice her age. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we got past the uh, the beginning cutscenes. Although we got another one coming up in a little bit, but so Luna joins our party because she doesn't trust me to go out on my own. And uh, one of the first things you'll notice is uh, there is no diagonal in this game. <laughs> 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 Apparently, the second CD couldn't invent uh, diagonals at this time, so uh, I can only move in the four cardinal directions. Yeah, we're gonna be bouncing off the walls a lot. Yeah, yes. bouncing. Yeah, there's. <laughs> by the way, great collision. I'm just holding up. Right there. <laughs> like I'm just holding up, and I just bounce everywhere. So, before we can go on an adventure, because we want to go on an adventure, you know, become Dragon Master Dying, and you can't just do that by eating Wheaties. We, uh, we need some gear, and, you know. I was really going to go eat my Wheaties this morning. I'm disappointed now. <laughs> so, we need to, to get some starter gear out of this chest that we'll never use. And, uh, yeah. So, we can go on an adventure, and then become a Dragon Master. Well, that's our hope. I mean, you know, in some versions, Nash tries to become a Dragon Master, and uh, we know how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know Nash when we get to him, don't worry. He'll be the one that's lying dead in almost every encounter. <laughs> random and boss. No, okay, random, yes. Boss, our goal is to kill him, okay? We don't get that lucky sometimes. <laughs> Especially because sometimes in battle, he's the first one to flee like that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this right here is totally intended, probably. Because <laughs> that totally looks like a path. Oh, I didn't get the RNG seed I wanted. Okay, so I don't. <laughs> so this game has manipulatable RNG. Um, getting no encounters there is great, but it's, it means I'm not going to know exactly what's coming for encounters. <laughs> oh, wow. So these are encounters. You got three commands attack, null, or run. <laughs> Obviously, the three most important things you can come up with. <laughs> because, you know, attack, run, yeah, but null. So, null's usefulness in this game. You, you ready? He tells you the name of the monsters and how strong you are compared to them. And he carries you away when you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> and when someone faints in battle, they carry, carry you away. There's no way to resurrect in combat in this game. You, if you go to zero hit points, you get taken out of combat. Also, you know, Ramus is uh, shortened to Rams because they can only hold four characters. That's great when you get Tempest later in the game. I love that. Because <laughs> it's, you know, a temp character. <laughs> Works out perfectly. Okay, so we're in the White Dragon Cave. Our goal is to meet the White Dragon and go on a long, perilous journey, which we did, as you can see. And uh, not only are we going to, you know, meet the dragon that Dine once commanded, we're going to get a dragon diamond, which is all Ramus cares about. <laughs> and then we get, like, another cutscene coming up. Because we got to meet the, 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 the dragon. Because all we see is his tail right now. You know, Quark seems much angrier in this version about giving Ramus the dragon diamond. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is the uh, blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> Oh no, with the Yu-Gi-Oh references. <laughs> well, aren't we going to see the card trader? We have to make Yu-Gi-Oh here. <laughs> so this is Quark. Hi, Quark. My friend. You know he's important because he's talking. The There's only like five voice actors in the game. Yeah. <laughs> but like if you hear that da -na 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 music, you know they're not important oh, yeah. enough to get a voice actor. Tetrarch of the Dragon Trade. You had journeyed far, and now you have arrived at my lair. Took us three minutes to get here. <laughs> That's good. It was the longest journey ever. That's because Luna wouldn't <laughs> shut up. <laughs> 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 so basically, we're just gonna, he's gonna be like, hey, you got promise. I'm gonna give you this dragon ring. It doesn't do anything right now, but you can have it. And then Raven's like, what about a dragon diamond? He's like, uh, diamond? What the heck do humans want with my... Oh, okay, just take the diamond. <laughs> um, <laughs> diamonds are produced by dragons. That's all I'll say. <laughs> so we get our diamond, we get a ring, and we get story experience. Yeah, that, I always like that about this version. 50 experience because you met the dragon. I, well, I think we got 15 for that one because it wasn't, even though it was a long, perilous okay, journey, wrong, we only got 15 experience. For wrong it. dragon, my bad. <laughs> I mean, it was so perilous, we didn't even gain a level from how dangerous that encounter that was. 
So we don't have a means right now to, to exit out of dungeons. And when we do, it is the best named spell ever for just exiting a dungeon. But, you know, we don't want to spoil that. You got to wait like 90 minutes to see that. Sorry. Come back for more. <laughs> It would this be a good time for donations? Go ahead. You got a, you got a minute here. All right. We've got $20 from Worski25. This is in honor of my brother, Matthew, who we lost in April. We have $10 from Dead Man J. Here is money to bribe the game for good bronze dog fleeing pathing. Donation <laughs> goes to High Spirits for running such an amazing game. You mean you didn't give me golf luck? <laughs> We have $13.22 from Sharky. Wait, isn't that the Great Rivers McCowan on the end of the couch at this early hour? I'm still waking up. Good morning. Hi, Rivers. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so this game does one thing right, okay? We come here to try to sell this big, expensive diamond. They're like, oh, do you see the size of this town? We can't buy that thing. You have to go to a bigger town. So we're going to be like, okay, bye. And then we're just going to leave. <laughs> He said go to a bigger town, so let's go to a bigger town. I mean, we gotta get the money from that diamond, otherwise yeah. how are we gonna fund our epic adventure? How are we gonna get rid of Ramus? <laughs> 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 That's the more important question. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go left there, and that takes you to where you need to go. But there's a bridge that's broken. And this woodman is like, sure, I'll, I'll fix the bridge. If you go get my axe in a really dangerous woods that's nowhere near my house right now. Like, dude, that, how did he leave his axe in the middle of that place? Because he got I out of there. He saw those out. flies. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there's a lot of different bugs in this game. Um, yeah. Literally bug, not like... Glitchy bugs, I mean, <laughs> flying bugs, and they are all absolutely horrible. Anything that flies is terrible, and that includes Null. <laughs> In this version, absolutely. <laughs> Null has story reasons, but they never really go into it in depth in this version. <laughs> <laughs> but he is kind of like an important thing. 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 But, uh, yeah, so this is the woods. The only thing you don't want to see, and since I don't know what RNG seed I'm on, uh, are flies. <laughs> Those things right there. <laughs> Her thank you for coming on my command. <laughs> uh, flies, anything that flies always goes first. So we have to sit here and wait for all of them to go um, before you run. Running is guaranteed in this game, but speed matters. If someone is faster, they go first. Not only are they coming at you, but they're coming at you in about the biggest groups they could possibly come at you. This is only five. Does that come? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now we're going to meet Lake. Hi, Lake. I was going to say by lake, but I didn't expect another encounter that fast. I love that pretty much everything you've gotten in this woods is flies. Yeah. You Nobody killed would... Alex. No, Null saved him, though. <laughs> That's Null's job right there. That is all Null is useful, used for. Oh, come on. Oh, actually, okay, okay, time out, time out. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. So this is actually a forced random encounter. You have to get into this encounter. Think of it as like a boss of this area, but you can run away. There, that's how good, useful Ram, Rams is now. Or Ramus, or whatever his name is. Yeah, at the very least for this part of the game, he's he's He soaks fly hits. enough. <laughs> so we get our axe, and guess what? We gotta walk out. <laughs> By the way, we're up to what? 14 flies? Not including the forced uh, random encounter? Something like that. It, it was a lot of flies. Oh, we're up to 17 flies now. Yeah, see, there are other monsters in here. You see that happy guy over there doing a truffle shuffle? <laughs> <laughs> Do the truffle shuffle. But yeah, Lake is kind of important too, but you don't have to talk to him in this version. Oh, we got the we got the triplets. See, that was easy, wasn't that? <laughs> such a such a much. When nice flies don't go out. buzzing around, you can just easily get out. No. Uh, uh, okay, I tried. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least the you don't have the screaming wasps in this version. Yeah. Okay, so this is an MP restore thing. I didn't need it, but I wanted to show it off. Um, in this game, one of the ways to heal, there's no ends. So the, the best way to heal is these random things on the world map that either restore your health or magic. Uh, there's only a few of those magic restore ones, but there's health restoring shrines everywhere. Like, you can make, like, a 30-second walk and come across four of them. <laughs> but we don't really care about healing now because it's just a waste of time. For the most part, outs healing outside of combat is, uh, is almost never going to happen because as long as one person runs away, you're safe. And uh, we're going to get some really fast party members. Yeah, as, as it's only in the beginning when you just have Alex that sometimes things get a little bit dicey. There's some story experience and a level because going through that forest was much more perilous than going to the White <laughs> Dragon, which was a long and arduous journey. 
But now we're going to get the bridge fixed. And I guess while the bridge is getting fixed, we can go say goodbye to mom and dad, right? That might be, you know, might be nice of their son <laughs> to say, hey, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but hey, I mean, Alex is a much nicer kid than I am. No, force me to do it. <laughs> So we're going to go talk to dad and mom because he has to give you a crest in order to advance. And this one, you have to make sure you choose option two or you lose out on some money. And, well, you lose out on a healing safeties for a marathon coming up. I love that telling her that, no, there's no way I'm staying. Get you more money. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, here, I'll give you more. <laughs> so nice of you. So now we can go on our adventure. This is the only version of Lunar 1 that also has random encounters on the world map. Um, every other version, they took out the random encounters on the world map and uh, and basically just gave you bigger and more dungeons. Uh, we're gonna This version, you're going to see me just go into a few areas and just like stay there for a few seconds and walk out. But in like every other remake, they're actual long dungeons that require some time to go through. And that's a healing shrine. The little diglet sticking up. Oh, goody. We got more flying things. <laughs> These ones are fine because they use they use poison a lot. That's poison true. is completely useless in this game. <laughs> so we're going to go to the town of Saith because, well, we're not near the big town yet. Moravia. Moravia is where we're going to go. It's the big famous town filled with lots of shops. And we can get lots and lots of silver and be th stinking filthy rich. <laughs> I guess Ramus does say that, doesn't he? Pretty much. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get some information here. And then we're going to meet our next party member. <laughs> Um, it's not often you're going to see him standing up. <laughs> 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 well, we're going we're, we're to let him live for a little while, okay? <laughs> but basically, we come to this town to, um, to try to get a ship to go to Moribia, and the captain lost the map charts. So we need to go get his maps so he knows where to sail. How nice of us. And, and the old hag's uh, forest here is much less deadly as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this version is kind of dull. Like in, like in the PlayStation version, he, he loses the maps to gambling, and you have to gamble to get it back <laughs> <laughs> against someone who can't lose, yep. which <coughs> incentive coming up later on. Because um, <laughs> I believe all the incentives for the game have been met. <laughs> so this is the Witch's Woods. This is a very long dungeon in the PlayStation version and every other version filled with flies. Yep. And this one is filled with an old hag with a giant pot of stew that is just not even going anywhere. I don't think she can even eat that if she tried in an entire year. She shares it with people who are unwitting enough to come her way. Yeah. And then steals their goods. <laughs> but then she didn't even share it with us, and we walked all the way there. We well, gave us a map chart, so we can eat boat food now. Well, you you don't you were coming to take something back from her. You don't get any of that stew. <laughs> well, you, you technically make a trade. So what happens is is Nal gives you a water cane, and she takes the water cane for the maps. So it, we did a fair trade. We took, gave some of the you know, Nashes to her, and in return, we get to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, protect the party. I'm sorry. I mean, we're going to put him in the front of the party for half of the game, and he's going to be the heroic shining star of light to save us from the bad, bad enemies out there. Sure. Okay. You know, I don't know what RNG seed this is, but that is an insanely good encounter rate. I should figure out which RNG seed this is. You, uh, you really should. <laughs> So here's the captain. He's like, oh, good. See, oh, I blew it. I forgot to light the lighthouse. So guess what we get to do? Don't I, all guess at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't figure out what I, what I, what you want to make. Well, I can English. But you want me to do at a lighthouse? <laughs> I know. So this actually has an insanely high encounter rate. And one of the reasons why I like RNG seed I do is because I can get like two encounters in this dungeon. Now, for as short as it is, um, it has the potential to have an insane amount of encounters and flies! Lots and lots of encounters and flies. Well, you realize as soon as you walked in and said that you try to get good encounters in here, you jinx yourself. Well, that's where I usually get it in my seat anyway, but I usually don't get a second one that fast. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice under everyone's name, they're all good, which is a lie because only one of them is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's their status effect. You'll you'll see slap or poison or um, daze or frez. Frez is another good one. Frez? Yeah, freeze. Oh, Thumps, that's what Thumper does. It freezes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a boss or an enemy use Thumper against me without running first. 
Yeah, because there's, there's a couple enemies that, that do that, which are really annoying. So light the lighthouse, get experience. Ten whole experience for that fire. It's, not a, it's, it's less than the dragon, so we know it's definitely <laughs> less perilous than that. <laughs> but not as, as bad as the, wood, as the weird woods. Everything, everything has to be measured against how arduous your journey was to Quark. I know. <laughs> it's going to be a shame when we get to the... Uh, see, this is good. This is good. Fail snail. Very slow. <laughs> and through the lighthouse. That guy heals you, so that's why I talk to him. I want to be Alex at full health going uh, to Moribia. Um, just so I don't have to bother healing it, you know. Poison! Poison! No, that's not poison! <laughs> that was definitely not poison. Okay, so we actually gotta do our first menu of the game. Only took us 20 minutes to get there. But we need to start by uh, doing a healing song. Luna actually um, uses spells by healing. Wait. Ah! Okay, I'll get this right. Thank you. Notice, not only do we put Nash in front, but we ba basically rob him of every piece of equipment he's got as well. Oh, we do that for a few characters. <laughs> we do, but at least at least some of the other ones aren't like stuck right out in the front. Yeah. So this right here, you just hold right, because you'll bounce off the wall, go up, and follow the wall. <laughs> this game, when you hit something, you go in the direction of the closest opening. And then we get to say goodbye to Luna. <sighs> I don't want her to go. That 80s anime scene, man, it gets to me every time. <laughs> Split screen. It's like they're versus Luna versus <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Luna's totally going to win right now. <laughs> this is the sad She's not part blinking. Of the game. She's winning the staring contest. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sad part of the game. <laughs> yeah, you can tell by the music, right? <laughs> she Start tearing up. She even says goodbye, man. Look at that. He's like. I'm the, I'm the, you know, Captain Morgan <laughs> guy. Like, I'm going out to sea, or, or uh, you know, Captain Sparrow. Either that or sinking. No, I'm not going to make that reference. Now, this sea is very perilous because it's just filled with sea dragons and giant fish that are flopping on the water. I mean, I would be afraid to sail across that ocean. It's a good thing we avoided them all. I mean, it was close in a couple of cases, <laughs> but we made it through that perilous journey. It's always perilous, isn't it? How come we couldn't go on one of those <laughs> nice big boats? We took like a, f a rowboat basically across the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so the sea dragon wouldn't see us coming? I don't know. <laughs> we have to avoid Leviathan. You mean Leviathan, get it right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to Moravia, the big town, and Nash splits. Or sometimes they say left the party and sometimes they say split. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Such a great word, they split. <laughs> So yeah, you can see this is a big town. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna buy some uh, healing herbs because we need a way to heal. So we get some lesser healing and some jasmines and some bigger healing calm herbs. In general though, the healing items in this game are pretty OP. Yeah, so this guy is, we're gonna sell the diamond too. He's gonna be like, hey, I'll give you 20,000 silver. We're like, deal. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna go uh, get the money and then not come back ever. He stole our diamond. <sighs> Wait till he finds out where it came from. No. <laughs> so, this is the hold down dungeon right now because I'm literally holding down. Until you get to this guy, then you mash A and find out you need magic to get through. So now I'm holding up. <laughs> the only bad thing, of course, is when you get stuck on something. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. It's it's really hard in this version to get stuck on something, but you can, and it's it's watch. It's fun watching them like wiggle back and forth and like <laughs> confused on where to go <laughs> so yeah they uh we we talked to that guy he's like you can't go through here you don't have any magic so i'm like where do we get some black rose street so we're gonna go get magic and it's a really really long and difficult process it involves first talking to nash and then talking to this person and well i mean having to talk na to nash <laughs> just makes it horrible to begin with i know <laughs> see you heard two sound effects there real quick one was the triumphant uh, Alex learned magic. The other was the want, 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 which means Ramus can't learn magic. So, <laughs> so that's the point where you really know he's not going to be useful in this. Pretty much. Can't use magic. We don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. He's can he's cannon fodder. <laughs> we hope, but he doesn't get to be as much cannon fodder as Ash. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but for for this dungeon, which is fairly dangerous, yeah. uh, he's good cannon fodder. This is the the most dangerous dungeon in the speedrun. Um, it's those blue fish right there. 
They always go first, they always attack, and they do a lot of damage. So what I'm going to do is... That's fine, this is normal. Uh, <laughs> go to I get to the point where I'm about to be one-shot, and then I'm going to do a safety save. Because <laughs> I can't actually afford to use any of that healing that I got right now. Um, so... We got a few more fish we can survive. Now, those blue guys can also attack, but they don't move very far. So, like, an encounter like this is great. Yeah, um, they do poison sometimes, too. So yeah, it's yeah. better. Which poison is great because it's useless. <laughs> <laughs> now, this could do some damage unless they, if they choose to attack, which they are. Attacking Alex is fine, but not really. Okay, now I have to save. Because now we're at that point where I can be one shot. Yeah. And saves are quick and easy. So that guy up there, say hi. We might see him later in the game. <laughs> he was a donation incentive. And he is a fun guy to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see how nice he is to me. Because <laughs> sometimes he's really not nice to me. <laughs> so speaking of donations, got time for a couple? Uh, do one real quick. Okay. Uh, $5 from Riniko here. First time donor, loving the schedule and the cause. Luna's best girl, but Quark is best character. At least you didn't say no. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do some healing, and I'm going to equip some herbs, because this game doesn't like to tell you um, where her bosses are. <laughs> uh, so, uh, surprise. Say hi to the water dragon. <laughs> so the only way you can kill him is by throwing flame magic at him. So we're going to throw flame magic. Rams is going to go up there and... Uh, and wave his sword around and maybe um, cool him off because, you know, maybe, you know, it's kind of hot. He is breathing fire. <laughs> I mean, one would hope Brins would uh, absorb some hits here, but... Uh, uh, oh, it doesn't matter in this case. What we want to see is him die at the end of the fight because more experience for Alex. Exactly. But we got to do a lot of attacks to kill him, though. So in this case, we'll heal... Yeah, there's basically uh, an MP value that we look for when we get towards the end of this battle. I forget if it's eight or six eight. MP. Eight. When you're on eight, that's your last attack. Yeah. But yeah, because this is a consistent fight. Just who he attacks is random. Right. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is Jasmine and Alex, just in case. Although I don't think he could kill him, but my health is kind of on borderline. And kill him. Get rid of him. Oh, low so damage roll. Close. Okay, come on, Ramus. Take this attack. Save our party. Also, there is auto regen. Nice. There is auto regen Sweet. when you're on low health. <laughs> yeah, for the whole, like, four to five uh, HP recovers. <laughs> it's really not much. <laughs> so we take out the, uh, the water dragon, and now we're going to go uh, confront the guy who took our diamond. And we're going to swindle him now. So we're going to get some money out of him and then steal his shop. <laughs> we're like, hey, you're going to give us our shop, your shop now, now that we've, you know, we've, you've tried to take our diamond. And, well, now he doesn't have a shop. Ramus does. Sounds good to me. You know what? I did so well with damage there. I'm, I'm going to save that healing just in case I need it on the way out. Because not only do you have to walk through the most dangerous dungeon in the game, you have to walk out. Bluefish, why? Yeah. Well, you got time for a few donations now. All right. Thank you. We've got $75 from Cyborg Grandpa. Just wanted to donate what I could to my favorite marathon, a great charity, and an awesome as heck couch and runner. We have five more dollars from Deadman J. Just a heads up, there's a second reference to Wheaties in the Sage Tower Library. One of the books talks about Wheaties. Remember, kids, if you want to become a mega hero, you need to eat your Wheaties. <laughs> Again, donation incentive is high spirits choice. Megas, dude. Five dollars from Master Margie. Welcome to the Magic Guild of Vane, Alex of Berg. Hi. You're totally not <laughs> creepy or scary at all when I get there. You look like a trustworthy fella. I hope I, you, I can live forever and stay in Vane forever. Go ahead. $20, uh, $20 from Ben Show Slime. Hello to my friend Riku, and because of a oh-so educational game that teaches us dragons produce diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad damage roll. Time for one more? Yep. All right. $10 from uh, Pleonastic. Why do you look so down? Never give up. Never surrender. Who's that mysterious mass stranger who keeps saying, sample my goods? <laughs> Keep up the good work, high spirits. And by the way, Where's the Nature Valley bar? Uh, Spirit sell out. That was kind of my breakfast, because breakfast is going on during my run. So. 
Okay, so we're nearing the end of our uh, our buddy here. So it's time to say goodbye to Ramus by taking all of his clothes. Because he's got a shop now. He doesn't need anything else. If it makes people feel better, I did see him eat two Nature Valley bars yesterday. I brought six boxes of them. <laughs> 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 so yeah, uh, Ramus, uh, Ramus leaves because he now has to own this shop. And don't worry, we'll, we'll make him regret that later in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and we get Nash, which is totally a equal trade off maybe sure uh, <laughs> i mean it's equal if you think about it okay so we need to so we're gonna stock up on a weapon and a bunch of armor the uh the carapace armor i'm gonna get here is actually really powerful because they don't expect you to have it unless you do a <laughs> lot of grinding but we just sell everything so it makes it much easier and put some healing on. As you can see, um, each character can only hold a certain amount of items. And then Nal is your bag. That's his other use. He's your bag. <laughs> but even he has a, a maximum amount that he can carry. So, At least that's one thing they did keep constant when they did the remakes. <laughs> Nal being a bag? <laughs> well, that and, <laughs> that and your, your party members only being able yeah. to equip so much stuff. So we are going to um, the Magic City of Vane. Because Nash is a uh, level three apprentice of the Vein Magic Guild. Which means absolutely <laughs> yeah. nothing, by the way. It means, it means he cleans the floors. No. <laughs> and now he's split. Yeah, now he's split. <laughs> so um, in order to get into Vein, you have to prove yourself. So we get to go through this Cave of Trials. And uh, the Cave of Trials is a very unique dungeon that you may or may not see a few more times throughout this run. Um, it's... it's it, well, at least this color, you, you might not see the rest of the dungeon. But, <laughs> but there's some really lovely color dungeons out there. There are. They do some very nice palette swaps. So if you want to go ahead and read a couple, go ahead. All right. We've got $5 from Anonymous. Donating toward my friend's sick Nina Kune run and a goob cause. Shoutouts to this entertaining Lunar run and all the staff making this event happen. Put this toward the name of Bogley as Gooby. So the blue guys are nice because they cast poison, and because of my carapace armor, tick, they tickle. Yeah. <laughs> the tadpoles now, those those are angry. Yeah, those things are not nice, and especially if they're close enough, then they can reach you. Yeah, uh, there's no risk of dying because you would have to run into a lot of tadpoles, and I got magic to spare because. There's two bosses in this dungeon. <laughs> the first one, which is uh, <laughs> cross your fingers and hope Alex cooperates. And the second one is more, it's easy. It just, it can be trolly if uh, you get a bad uh, boss pattern. This so is where the death counter starts. Yeah, this is where the death <laughs> counter starts. Okay, so we're gonna save. Uh, <laughs> so welcome to the bronze dogs. Uh, you're not supposed to fight him at this level. So we got this lovely command called Flea, and he's going to flee away, to not the into the place. corner. So <laughs> That's this, one. <laughs> this is one. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't think I can recover from this, but he did run where there's no one else. So I'll, tr I'll have to go risky, but oh, I was hoping. He okay, I'll survive. I actually yeah. could survive this because of that second move, but I'm going to run out of healing, maybe. The question is, can the top one get to me? I think he can. If he, if you take, you get attacked by two, then you're in trouble. No, he can't. Oh, nice. Oh, this might have worked out nice. You absolutely lucked out. Oh. So the ideal is he moves to the top right corner, and then you just kill them all with only taking a few hits. We got lucky here with the dog movement. Because if more than one hits you at a time, you're dead. You just don't have the health for it. Yeah, and even with the even with the armor that we picked up, it's just not good enough at this level. Trust me, it's keeping me alive right now. Because you don't <laughs> want to know what these would do to me if I didn't have the care. <laughs> I'm fully aware. <laughs> okay, so. Yep, we're good. Yep. I had to use one more healing, which means I have to pick up a backup healing along the way. But first try, dogs. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got so lucky with that. Said, that was a, <laughs> the moment yeah. he runs to the back corner like that, you you pretty much like, okay, just finish it. Just kill me. Uh, just finish me off. Um, but we got lucky. The second flea went to the exact perfect spot. Because if he would have fled up, he would have ran into two dogs. But because he fled down and the way the dogs moved opened up a path where only one could get to me. And uh, it worked out great. 
Yeah, luckily the second boss that's in here, it's a, it's not as a, a risky a fight. Yeah. Yeah, because he's basically has two patterns. Well, he has more, but the, the only patterns that matter is two of them. And if he takes an east movement, it's free. You just run away and you take one hit at the end. If he does a northeast pattern, then you kind of got to run a few times, heal a couple times, and then you still get through the fight. So if you got anything else, go right ahead. Uh, well, we don't have any more donations at the moment, but this is a good time to remind you that we're here supporting NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness, the nation's largest grassroots mental health organization whose work is focused around three pillars, education and support, awareness, advocacy, and we are also sponsored by Twitch. So yeah, these are throwing dungeons. They, they really maximize their space. And we totally don't see any other ones like this ever. No. So these guys walking around are pretty hilarious because they're all trying to go through this trial to get into Vayne. And some of them just been in here so like 20 years that they reserve that they're like, okay, I'm never getting out of here. So I'm just going to stay in here and uh, <laughs> let's, we got to equip that for sure. And they just reserve. They're like, I know I'm going to be lost in here forever. So I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Trouble Truffler. That's his name. So we do our predictable flea, and we need to hit him with eight flames. So what we're looking for is what he does in turn three and four. Um, depending on his movements, we'll determine if he gives me the freebie pattern or the I have to work a little bit for pattern. And, okay, so what is he going to do here? Okay, he gave me the I have to work for it a little bit pattern. Yeah. Because he went right up into my face. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, what a flea. Yeah, this dude gets three hits Actually, off at a time. Actually, that is problematic. Alex might get out of the corner. He might not. Nope. Okay. Yeah, this is bad flea pattern. Yeah. Okay. Uh, boy. Yeah, he uh, he didn't flee where I needed him to. Okay. Well. Um. This will be interesting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Can't survive. Yeah, this is rip. Because I'm going to be one attack short. Yep. So Death counter one. There's death counter one. Thanks, Nala, for the help. <laughs> so this one you can start at a checkpoint, which is usually like entering the dungeon <laughs> in a lot of cases. Or you can load a save, which is much faster. So yeah, he gave us the troll pattern, and then Alex trolled me even more <laughs> by running down instead of left. If he would have ran left, it would have been a, you know, still a pretty easy fight. Also, Alex did not go to the corner. Which yeah. is actually kind of good because it keeps him below me. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> this is so much better. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never seen that pattern before. Usually Alex, 100% of the time, has run to the corner. That's actually better, more helpful. <laughs> 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 oh, we're going to win now because one more flame will kill. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you get a good pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. He stays below you and we win. We now can become a magician and get more story experience. Yeah, that's one of the strange things if you've only played the uh, PlayStation or Sega Saturn remakes. Alex is basically just a magician in this version, and his sword is uh, irrelevant. <laughs> he doesn't even know how to use his sword. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he, he, this version is the only version where he's a magic user, pure magic user. Every other version, he is a sword, <laughs> pure sword user almost. <laughs> Not pure, but he has a little bit of magic, but... But not like he's got in this one. Yeah. And spells in this game are great because there's a million spells in this game. And all of them are slightly better than the one previous to it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's like eight single target healing spells with each one, the next one being slightly better than the one before it. <laughs> and it's that way for everything. Ugh. So this is a magic guild. We come here to join and they say, absolutely not. It's late. You can't enroll the late. So we're going to go cry and see if we can find a friend. <laughs> Feel sad. Unfortunately, <laughs> all we're going to find is Nash, though. No, we're going to find someone better first. Oh, that's true. Slightly. So this game also has status increasing nuts. And I just picked up an agility increasing nut. Um, or item, I should say. It's, it's you know, here I'm nut, so it's a nut. But um, we're going to pick up a handful of them because we want Alex to be strong. And, you know, they kind of look like Wheaties. So that's, <laughs> that works. <laughs> 
So meet the uh, the quite old Mia Elsa, <laughs> the daughter of the guild guild master. Um, she's aged a little bit since you know, or de-aged a little bit since the remakes, because she's supposed to be like sixteen. <laughs> she is um, a very wizened sixteen. <laughs> she's wise behind her years. Okay. <laughs> So, you know, we couldn't join the Magic Guild, so we're going to go cry to Nash. And he's going to be like, don't worry, I'll talk to the head honcho. I'll get you in, you know, I'll slip you in. So he's going to go talk to Gellion, the premier of the Magic Guild. Now, what's the difference between the pre premier and Guildmaster? I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, no, to this day, nobody knows. Get out of my way. I think being the premier just gets you that really awesome hat, though. Yeah, and it gets you voice acting. <laughs> so meet the last voice actor in the game that you haven't heard yet. He is by far the most excited to see me. <laughs> Welcome to the Magic Guild of Vane, Alex of Berg. I'm Galleon, Premier of the Guild. My apprentice Nash speaks well of you. He says you helped him a great deal during his journey. You seem to be quite resourceful, Alex. Resourceful. Perhaps you can help me. I'm now deeply disturbed that nobody blinks. Thanks. I know. <laughs> well, no, Alex did at the beginning. So basically what he says is, hey, you've been useful. There, We've had this guy who's calling himself a Dragon Master causing problems. You should go deal with it to help us out, and then we'll get you into the Magic Guild. And he's like, you should take Nash. I'm like, no. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to talk to Nash and take him, but he just takes experience from away from, from everyone else. <laughs> he doesn't need that experience. We need that experience. I mean, he needs a little bit. But once he gets the thumper spell, that's where his usefulness ends. <laughs> that's literally all he's going to be good for is three encounters where uh, he casts a spell called Thunder Thumper, which freezes enemies, or can freeze enemies. And it makes a few boss fights a lot less messy. It does, and they're, and they're actually fairly late game, which is kind of nice. So uh, we're going to make a sidetrack here um, to this town here of Nanza. Uh... We don't have to be here until later in the game, um, but we, we're going to get the return point for teleporting, and here I'm not. More agility is always good. Just so, you know, too bad we, can, we should give him the Jessica, though, so she doesn't heal last every time. But then you run into <laughs> the thing where she heals before the dragons even attack. <laughs> so this land here is so beautiful, it has dimples. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had dimples like this. <laughs> of course, there are objects, a point you bounce off of them. <laughs> and you notice the single trees? Some of the single trees in this game are objects, some of them are not. <laughs> in this case, they're not because the dimples are in the way. So we're going to go to the town of land here. It's going to... Ooh, fishies. Only three, though. You can get the six fish encounter here. But we're going to go to the town of land where, uh, where we're going to get a boat to go to the island where this dragon master, Zok, is uh, presiding and being... Rude and, and bad things. And we're gonna pick up the worst mate, the worst maid sprite in the game. <laughs> <laughs> we left Nash back in vain. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, say hello to Jessica. That that Jessica sprite makes me feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> she looks a lot younger in this one though. It's like they switched the age of her and Mia. So she's a healer. Probably couldn't guess from the white robes. I mean, you know, the white mage, you know, whole thing. But <laughs> she's going to help us out um, going to this island. And I am going to swap armors. We're going to turn AI on. And I'll explain what that is in a minute because that's actually uh, a glitch that we're doing. And then we're going to use our nuts on Alex to increase his agility. And we're going to hop on a boat to go over. Okay, so the AI glitch is the only glitch that we use in the game. As far as I know, it's the only real glitch in the game. Um, so this game has our AI, artificial intelligence. And when you're in combat, you'll notice there's an AI command. Well, what does it do? Well, <laughs> it usually just attacks. But if you, you have the options to turn on magic, uh, or magic AI and item AI, or tool AI, they call it. Um, and when you do that, that gives them the ability to use um, items and magic in combat if you choose AI. But it has an unintended side effect where if, say, if you turn on the magic AI and you use a spell instead of her using a spell, not only will your spell go off, but she'll, they'll also attack an extra time. So it's, and ultimately, it's, it's a way to increase the amount of damage I'll be doing. And late game, it's, it's a 25% damage boost to Alex. It's that powerful. Um, so that's, that's the AI glitch, I like to call it. It's also a good way to get Nash killed. 
Yeah, because it means Nash casts magic and then runs into melee. <laughs> it's very helpful. You know, I'm so surprised. I've never seen a dungeon like this before. I know. They didn't even change the color in this one. They kept it the same brown, you know, muddy color. But this is actually one of the shortest dungeons in the game. And it gives us, we can pick up an item called a Wind Essence, which allows me to teleport out when I'm done. So we're going to go grab this Wind Essence. And this is not the most obvious dungeon, because the to get through it, you have to go down there. And uh, when I played this the first time, I probably circled this dungeon five times before I realized that there was a door down there. And the problem is, is if, even if you look at the maps, it's like, what? There's yeah. a door here. <laughs> So, Dragon Master Zok, the only version of the game where he actually commands dragons. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you trying see. to tell me giant frogs aren't dragons now? Yeah, exactly. And so, this is a finicky fight because what I'm basically hoping for is two, two uh, on each party member. Um, but when Jessica goes first like this, she's kind enough to just go run in there. But if she gets knocked away, oh, bad turn order. If the other dragon would have went, it would have knocked her away, and I would have got uh, two people to hit me. So what we now need is uh, Jessica take some damage, and then Jessica heal. And now heal. <laughs> heal. Thank you. <laughs> a little wow, late, but I'll take it. that was close. So we want her to heal early in the next fight. You'll also notice I'm doing... Um, please heal. <laughs> Thank you. You'll notice I'm doing a magic and then attacking. That's the AI bug. So basically, I'm sacrificing two attacks for one magic and one attack. Oh, she's still getting teamed, though. I'm going to see if I can... Okay, good. He went for me anyways. I still need her to heal. Ooh, see, she's making it a little too close for my comfort right now. Okay, so the other one will attack Alex because he's closer, so that's good. Of course, we don't want it to stay like that, but we've almost killed one of the dragons. Once you kill one of the dragons, it just it gets so much easier. Yeah, but the thing is, of course, is Alex kind of needs the to survive this battle because yeah. if he dies, uh, one of the future battles, and I learned that the hard way. Please, okay, good. We got the heals. <laughs> one of the future battles is almost impossible. Yeah, he needs the experience. He, you want him to survive every encounter if you can. Um, when you get to later in the game, um, it gets a lot harder when things start doing a lot more damage, and it's fine to sacrifice, you know, to, to, to not have him alive for an encounter or two, but um, the, the more he stays alive, the more experience he gets, and it makes um, one of the end game bosses quite a bit faster if he, uh, if he stays alive. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to attack now. And finish him off. So that was a pretty good dragon fight. It was a little scary. <laughs> Jessica was getting me a little worried there with some of those heals, but. Yeah, totally random turn order is also a thing here. Yeah, so we forgive him because he's like, I learned my ways. I'm not going to be mean anymore, and I won't call myself a dragon master. Okay, we're like, okay, good job. So we're going to put my armor back on. We're going to turn her AI off because we don't want it anymore. And then we're going to use that wind essence to get out of here. That was the only fight in the game I want her to have the AI glitch. Yeah, otherwise there's no reason for Jessica to throw herself into the fray. I'm very sorry if you get motions. <laughs> <laughs> they have to have loading screen somewhere, right? Just really quick, I'd like to uh, give you an update that we are past 13,000. Woo! Woo! Nice. That's awesome. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> so Jessica now splits. <laughs> she just splits. She's like, I had enough of this. I'll see you later. Yeah. So basically, the first hour, hour ten of the game, um, probably hour ten of the game, uh, is meeting party members, adventuring with them a little bit, and then they split, and then eventually they'll all come back together. Oh, good fish. Yeah. <laughs> But I've gained uh, a lot of levels and got some Hiram Nuts, so I'm a lot faster than what I was. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so fish are not always going to get to go first now, which is really nice. Yeah, the walk back is a lot safer than the walk over. Yeah, so now that we've disposed of them, there's only one thing to do. Go back and glow. <laughs> 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 we got to go tell Galleon of our heroic deeds. Um, and uh, and maybe we'll get, you know, get to join the, the prestigious magic guild of the vein. Well, I mean, the dude told he wasn't a dragon master. I didn't see any Wheaties in there. But the dragons forgot to eat them. <laughs> That's why they fell over so easily. There's Vane, by the way. It actually is a floating city. 
And uh, the, the tower we just passed is the goddess tower, the goddess of Althena's tower. Uh, no one knows what it's for because no one can get there because it's, like, really high. Uh, and Vane just doesn't have a docking port, apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> Some magicians, they are. I know. <laughs> So yeah, we can uh, we can just easily now go in and out, which is both a good and bad thing because, well, you'll find out in a soonish why it's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Only for one thing is it bad though. Yeah. So we're gonna go tell Galleon and uh, about us taking out the uh, the fake dragon masters, and Nash is still there waiting for me to to take him with us. <laughs> He's like, can you just tag me in? I'm ready, boss. I'm ready to go in there. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. It's too early for you. <laughs> but this gives us the ability to uh, to meet the guild master who's been patiently waiting behind that curtain for who knows how long. <laughs> she's been back there for a while. <laughs> and uh, she's going to be like, hey, thanks for helping us out. But you know what? I see your truth. You're trying to destroy the magic guild and throws me in prison. I like this music that goes along with it. Yeah, so <laughs> Nala's going to make a run for it very slowly. <laughs> now, to get out of jail, it's really difficult, okay? What you have to do is press right. Not left, not down, not <laughs> up, right. <laughs> if you don't go right, you don't get Mia to appear. If you go any other direction, you know, if you go right, she appears. If you go any other direction, she doesn't. Trust me, she knows. Yeah. <laughs> So we talked to Mia, and she comes up to me all concerned, and she's like, My mom, my mom would never do what she did to you. She must not be my real mom. Please, help me find my real mom. And she's like, but I need you to go get a mirror to uh, to, to prove that she's my fate, not my real mom. So we need to go get the mirror of Althena to prove that she's not real. Or, well, who she real says she is. So this is a lovely tower here, this silver tower, where the only reason we can get into it is because of that fancy dragon ring that, that Quark gave us. Um, is where we will get our mirror. And it is another well-designed, uh, very unique dungeon. <laughs> and you'll never see any others like it. Yeah. So the ghost there, Casper the Friendly Ghost, is who we want to see, because they're slow. Everyone else will uh, is pretty fast. And, uh, yeah, this is something you're going to see a lot, by the way. <laughs> left, right, left, <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> Because there's only a few chests we want to get. Like, we're going to get these ones because we still need money and healing. Uh, we haven't quite gotten to the point where that's not needed anymore. Also, you'll notice Mia takes one damage from that flavor spell. Uh, Mia has insanely good magic defense, and it's very useful. Um, it allows her to resist spells like Flamer and the sleep spells, which um, will happen later. <laughs> <laughs> in the world's worst dungeon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a little scary at my health. Okay, they attacked. That's fine. As long as they uh, attack, physically attack Alex. So I am going to now time to heal. Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> it's just to stay alive. <laughs> we, got, we got to walk out of this tower still. <laughs> But yeah, there's two things we want to get up here. One is the mirror, and the other is this thing called an herb of Althena. Um, what it does is it heals your entire party to full. Uh, it's a very useful item. Um, you know, healing your party to full with an item is, is great. And uh, we're going to save it for later because we don't need it now. But there's only so many of these um, in the early game, so... And we also picked up a Seed of Vigor earlier, which restores someone magic to full. Or not really full. It gives them approximately 230 to 250 magic. It's it's still ridiculously overpowered for this point in the game. Yeah, considering the most expensive spell in the game costs 120. Yeah. Good time for a couple of donations? Sure, go ahead. We're just Unless we get a bunch of Caspers. All right. <laughs> So we have $20 from Painter KMS. Thank you for running Lunar. This was my favorite game as a kid, and I'm loving the couch commentary. This is for a great cause close to my heart. We have $10 from Creative Alley. Wonderful event, awesome people, good luck high spirits, good luck spirits. Safe travels and get on the plane. Oh yeah, make sure you tell me when you land, please, so I can pick you up. <laughs> I forgot to text you that earlier, Ellie. <laughs> He's coming today, so. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You got anything we, else? 
Uh, yeah, we have uh, $50 Cold from Lizard. Code Lizard. Congrats on your big tutorial. That's never happened before. And good <laughs> luck on the rest of the run, High Spirits. Uh, donation goes to Runner's Choice. Oh, yeah, and in case uh, you didn't know, my uh, Runner's Choice is to name one of the printies Amigas, dude. Because there wasn't a lot of pretty names right now, so. Dude. Dude. And $10 from Anonymous. This series on Sega CD was a childhood favorite. Thanks for running the Lunar Games, High Spirits. Yeah, I've speedrun almost every Lunar Game. There's only one that I haven't done yet. And there's one that I refuse to do. <laughs> 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 um, but, yeah, pretty soon I'm going to do the one I haven't done, which is the PSP remake of this game. Silver Star Harmony. 3D Lunar. Uh, and uh, somehow I know I'm going to get dragged into that, too. Of course. <laughs> I probably will, too. <laughs> That's why these two are here, because we drag them into Lunar. Exactly. <laughs> Kicking and screaming sometimes. Well, I mean, <laughs> technically, I was already here, just super casually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the mirror, but now we got to get to where uh, Mia's mom is. And she's in the other tower. Well, where's the other tower? You can't walk to it. You have to take the uh, the back door into it. Remember why I said this is a good and a bad thing? <laughs> Welcome to the bad thing. Um, the entrance to the tower is at the very entrance of the caves here, but you can't get to the very entrance from the teleporter anymore. So you have to walk through this entire dungeon backwards. At least you don't have to fight the bosses again. Yeah. Also, where the he where is that clinking uh, sound coming from in the music? Is that me every time I hit the wall? Because you know, like the machine cranking sound that you can hear coming <laughs> on? It's like, okay. These walls are moving. Alex has some very interesting armor. So yeah, this is uh, exciting. This guy, yeah, he's been here for a while. He looks like the hero <laughs> from Dragon Quest V. He's still looking for his mother. That's why he's lost in the cave. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. You'll find mom soon. Don't worry. She's out there. I'd like to take this moment just to remind everybody that uh, we do have some upcoming incentives for the next couple of games. For the Soul Blazer, there is the uh, bid war for the name. And as uh, High Spirit said earlier, there is the naming of the Perny for uh, Disgaea, as well as a couple other incentives. Check them out and, you know, get yourself named. Dude. I really hope the Ever Hate name wins for oh, Soul yeah. Blazer. Yeah, Everhate was um, was the one person that I knew on Twitch that really affected me the most when he passed away. And uh, Soul Blazer was kind of his first, you know, along with Dragon Warrior Four. And uh, yeah, he's the one. He's one guy I will always remember because <laughs> we were really close, uh, learning Dragon Warrior Four together and uh, being there in mar late night marathons when I needed help and and no one else was around. He would stay up all night and, and help me out and, you know. And of course, I'd do the same for him and, you know, we, we, we became pretty good friends, so. And I know this is one cause that he would definitely be for. It's for Nami. All right, so there's the entrance that we need. <laughs> Finally. We've, <laughs> we've finally come over there. Want to go back to the other entrance? Looks like a nice dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you could come here earlier because you need Mia to take down the mirror. Because only she can break glass. <laughs> <laughs> we're not done yet because there's still a couple more rooms. I mean, <laughs> we've heard her sing if you've played the, the other version, but I didn't think her voice was that shrill. <laughs> I don't know what her voice is because she doesn't have one in this version. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, a healthy encounter rate in here. It's not too bad because, you know, all it does is just waste a few seconds in most cases. But we're going to come out the other end of this tower once we, we stop playing in the shrooms. There we go. And uh, we're going to be met by, or meted by, greeted by someone. Nash. Now, if you look really closely when he joins, you're going to find the world's best hidden chest. Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> There is a ridiculous amount of treasure chests in this game hidden behind stuff. Yeah. So we're going to use the uh, the status increasing nuts and <laughs> guess who doesn't need armor? And then we're going to turn his AI on because 
We need him to run into combat to save Alex. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, okay? This is the encounter we want to see in here, or the ghosts. Although Nash is slow. So is Mia, but um, there are randomness to the agility, to the initiative rolls, and yeah. So sometimes they're fast, and look at all those casters. They look so happy to see me. Bye. Now, if you can't figure out where I'm going to go next in this dungeon, there actually is a lot of chests and things, but nothing I really need. <laughs> okay, Alex took some damage. Don't need to worry about anyone else. So this is where uh, Galleon is hanging out and the fake guildmaster, who really is, dun dun dun, Zenobia. Who, well, who is Zenobia? No one knows. Um, at least yet. But she is a what you'd call a Vile Tribe member. In this game, there's two types of uh, people. There's humans and Vile Tribe, which are basically beast men. And uh, they've been shunned to the frontier, were uh, forsaken by the goddess. And now Zenobia, being one of the uh, Vile Tribe, wants to basically destroy the world because she thinks the goddess Althena, you know, turned her back on them. And she's miserable and not happy. And yeah. So she sends these two pipers on us and... We're just gonna beat on him a little bit, and if we're really lucky, Nash is going to uh, go ahead and tank some hits for me um, by the, you know, in a couple of turns. We don't want it to be too soon. Yeah, get right up there. Show us how heroic you are. <laughs> Save Mia, the one you love. Good job, Nash. <laughs> you saved her. She didn't get hit. <laughs> Although I really didn't want him to go that soon because he has damage, but. It should still be okay. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be okay. All you do is lose a few seconds. Because I out-heal these guys by far. Yeah. In fact, I might need to do a safety heal. Because I don't know if I have enough health to survive. They're not that hard. No, this is not a bad battle. In, my, in the PlayStation version, this is my favorite. <laughs> because Luna's in your party um, in, the in every other remake except for this game. And uh, she has a spell called uh, Escape Song, where she just basically escapes from combat. <laughs> it's the only boss fight in the game you can do it in the PlayStation version. Okay, so we 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 uh, we shoot a wave Zenobia, and we go up and talk to Gal, and he's like, "This isn't good. Vile Tribe making plans to destroy the world. I need to go find Quark and talk to him because." Galleon is, um, in this game, I guess we didn't really go into the deep lore, but there's four legendary heroes, um, that, that, um, including Dragon Master Dine, that worked together to save the world. One was Dragon Master Dine, um, one was Galleon, one was L uh, Mia's mom, Lamia, which you really don't even see the real her, and the other one is Master Mel, who you're going to visit very soon. That lives in the worst house ever constructed. <laughs> <laughs> You would think, yeah, when you see this house. I was joking with Jire uh, yesterday that um, Jim from Virtual Hidewide would really love this house. <laughs> uh, think of all the map turning you could do in this house. Yeah. Also, those monsters are called Wyverns, you know, for Team Wyvern out there. Jenny Omegas, yeah. <laughs> Go, <Wyverns>. Team Wyvern! <laughs> So first thing we need to do is we need to do a shopping trip here. And we're going to sell robes and a music box. We're going to buy three wind essence to help us escape from dungeons. And this thing called an amulet. <laughs> what does the amulet do? Well, supposedly it lowers the encounter rate of uh, uh, when you're on the field, which could be argued of, uh, argumented against as whether it actually works very well or not. Uh, I always compare it to smoke in Breath of Fire 2, where, yes, if you use smoke, you'll get rid of one encounter, like, for the, like, the two minutes that you have smoke on. <laughs> but it's a permanent item you can equip, so it does lower it a little bit. I mean, it's kind of worth having. It's not even out of the way, so. But and this is Mel's house, by It's the not way. too expensive either, luckily. Yeah. This is Mel's house. Nice house he has, right? We had to come here because in order to get Galleon to Quark, by going back to that story... Um, he wanted to go talk to Quark to find out what's going on with the Vile Tribe. And since he's friends with the dragon, you know, we figure, sure, we'll take him. The problem is, 
Quark has been hiding for 15 years, so Galleon doesn't know where he, the dragon is. So that's why we're trying to take um, Galleon to him, so we, he can talk to him. And we need a ship to get back home. So here's Mel, one of the four heroes. And also the father to Jessica. <laughs> Which is kind of an interesting dynamic, because... Um, Mel thinks Jessica's a sweetheart, but her personality is actually, like, a firecracker. She gets very <laughs> angry. She argues with her boyfriend a lot. <laughs> but she doesn't want her father to know that. Alex! Now we get the obligatory nightmare. Yep. I don't know what crashed, though. I'd still like to know what crashed. Foreshadowing. Dun, dun, dun. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to stop here and we're going to make a safety save. Well, not really a safety save. Uh, it's going to save time save, most likely. Because I owe you guys a donation incentive that was met. Um, and I have to go through several screens of the sewers to get to it. Which means there's a potential to be a lot of encounters. So I do a save there in case I get a ton of encounters. Then it's just faster to reset the console and, and go back there. But if I get very little to none, uh, it's nice. So, what is the card dealer that I'm going to take you to see? Well, here comes the encounters when I'm at, finally here. Um, he is a b blackjack dealer who has not lost in 20 years. Can you believe that? Like, look at this guy. He has not a 20-year winning streak. So, we're going to try to play with him. But, we got to see how he's going to cooperate. So, ooh, 18 is good. Ah, we lost. So sometimes he doesn't cooperate. So I need to win a hand first. If I don't win a hand, I got to back out. And I'll show you um, why this guy is so special. But this might take a few tries. Uh, I love the bottom line. 18. <laughs> oh, 20 oh, years. Oh, he rolled a 19 <laughs> again. Uh. <sighs> yeah, this is this guy for you. <laughs> I, lose, I only lose 10 gold each time, so it's not a problem. Anyways, I can reset if I need to. 10 silver, I mean. Uh, 19? 21? <laughs> okay, he's not supposed to always do this, okay? <laughs> he has, it's supposed to be a fair game, okay? <laughs> That's three. <laughs> See, this is why he has that 20-year winning streak. I know. Oh, boy. Six. Uh, 24. Rip. Yeah, that's that time, you know, it was bad cards. But, like, you have 18s and 19, you're like, yeah, you need to We'll get to this. Don't worry. This might take a couple minutes. <laughs> 15, so, uh, he's going to have a 10, yep. I'm going to start to lose count, you know. <laughs> I've, always, I've usually always won by this point, so it's actually kind of <laughs> kind of rare to, to, to still be losing. 8, 16, <laughs> this guy is so cruel to me. <laughs> Might need to rese or, uh, reset just to get my money back soon. <laughs> Okay, 18, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't win with 19, but he can. Wait a second. That's not fair. Note to self, don't don't go to Las Vegas with high school. 20, okay, this is good, right? <laughs> yes, okay, so we won. <laughs> this deck this is this deck marked? You seem awfully lucky. <laughs> 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 sure. <laughs> you wanna play some more? Nah. I, I'm not going to admit defeat yet. You were just lucky. Why don't we play a final game, all or nothing? Okay, sure. Why not, you know? So let's do it. Let's do this. Sure. I got a 20. I obviously am not going to lose. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the reason why he has a 20-year win streak. You can't beat this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you get winnings and then you try to leave, he all or nothing and rolls a 21. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> when you win, obviously. <laughs> um, so that is the dirty, cheating, blackjack dealer. And it's funny that I got a 20 because it made it even better. Because it's like, oh, yes, I can, like, I can actually like fake it like I might actually win it. <laughs> Usually it's like, oh, look, I got a 12. I guess I'll just stand. <laughs> it's not even climactic. Oh, those red chests I can't open yet. You need a, a special um, Thieves Guild crest to uh, open them. Or a lockpick. His name is Kyle. But <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't reset because it was an easy walk. It didn't. It would have. It takes like a minute to load the the Sega CD in the game, so I, it wasn't really worth the reset. But 
Hey, your reward for watching that donation incentive is to watch me go through this house again. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Keep donating. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is this is not the last time we go through here we gotta go through it only one more time I guess that's not good news is it? what do you think about no, it no it's not it's one time too many why did he make his house a maze it's to keep intruders out which you're gonna see how well it works <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we, yeah, as, you notice how far we had to go to get to his bedroom? He has beds right at the door. Is that, for, is, is that for when he's like, I'm too tired to walk to my bedroom? I'm going to sleep in these ones. Uh. <laughs> okay, so after finally losing to the blackjack dealer, back to the perilous seas. Uh, oh, watch out for the fish. Oh, I think we're just going to miss the fish. I still disagree with this picture. My boat, that, that boat looked nothing like that boat. I want the that. The boat is the size boat. of Italy. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Look at you to the bottom, <laughs> right over there. I, oh, the sea we dragon. We avoided him. Yeah, the sea dragon got close, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that sea dragon. <laughs> okay, so we finally made it back to almost the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah, so that's what the game does to you, is it forces you to go all the way back to the beginning of the game. How nice of it. In case you, you know, you played the game and you're like, I need some nostalgia. What happened to me in the beginning of the game that I played like, you know, hours, which, you know, we're playing casually the hours ago. Let's, let's be forced to go back there and find out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out why this game doesn't follow typical RPG logic. Since we've gotten on a boat three times now and none of the boats have been destroyed yet. Because we, this boat is smart. It avoided the sea dragon. You saw it clearly. <laughs> it was even marked on the map. <laughs> Usually when ships, when, when captains see a map, they think it's all optional. And they're like, hey, that's not, that might be dangerous. Let's go in that direction. No, <laughs> this captain was smart. He followed the map. <laughs> Time to go back to the totally intended uh, shortcut through the mountains, right? See, I don't know if this was intended or not, but there's no, uh, there's no path. So it makes it just makes it seem like they, uh, oops, forgot collision in that one spot. <laughs> Because it's the only place in the game you can do that. You're supposed to go up and down and around the uh, the mountains, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't got time for that. We got we got to get we got the world to save from from the evil Zenobia. I mean, she's alone in this version. She doesn't even have Royce and uh, Phasia to help her out. Yeah, and she's not even important enough to get a voice actor. I know. Best voice actor ever at working design. So working designs, um, from what I understand, they're the company that uh, um, localized this game. Game Arts is the one that originally made it in Japan. And working designs um, for all of their games, which they've actually localized a bunch that you've probably heard of, um, didn't really pay for professional voice actors. So a lot of the people they used were in office, um, like Galleon, who is John Truitt, amazing voice actor for working in the office. <laughs> But you'll notice it. They always, you, you can hear it in a lot of their games. Like if you play like Grow Lancer, you play uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth, which is something you might see later in this marathon, you know, games like that. Uh, you'll notice they reuse some of their voice actors. <laughs> but now here's the dramatic moment. The snails. No, you're supposed to walk through the door. <laughs> the dramatic moment when Galleon comes back to meet his dear friend Quark. And Quark is so happy that I brought another friend, so I'm not even going to talk during this part. So, Alex, you've returned. <coughs> and this time you've brought another friend with you. Wait, Galleon, is that you? I haven't seen you since we lost time. Yes, dear Quark. He looks happy to see him. And if not for <laughs> you, he would still be alive. A part of me died that black day. But now, dear friend, things are changing again. I'll soon rule the world. But first, you have to die! Galleon, what are you doing? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, the best part is coming. You gotta wait till Galleon finishes. Now that that's taken care of, only the goddess Althena stands in my way. Soon, the whole world will be mine! <laughs> <laughs> yes, he laughs maniacally running away. That's yes. the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Best evil laugh in games. <laughs> and it's the running away thing, which is hilarious. But, oh, sorry, Rip Cork. We're sorry. Yeah, We're Rip sorry. Cork. The goddess will be vulnerable. 
Yeah, this is unfortunately the only version where the dragons are killed. Yeah, literally killed. <laughs> so he basically tasked me to become a dragon master. And uh, become the hero that I always wanted to become. And I'm like, you know, it's like, sure. <laughs> Sign me up. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> So we're just going to step over his tail one last time, and bye-bye, Quark. And the good thing is, is we're not done hearing Galia run away either. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 so we need to meet, in order to become a Dragon Master, we need to meet the four dra dragons. Um, and every time we do, we get one of their uh, Dragon Master gear or items, and we get a new spell to play with. In this case, we get the Dragon Wings, um, which allow you to teleport to any town you've been to, eventually. Uh, they need something to power them up first. Um, probably... I don't know. I guess we'll find out shortly, right? Keeping us in suspense. I know. This is not for long, trust me. It don't take long to power them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the last fight coming up in the game where I have to rely on Flea to keep me alive. Yeah, this is also the fight coming up why you need Alex to get uh, as much experience yep. as he can. Yeah, yeah. So you come back to Berg, and you'll notice something's missing. The water. Someone just literally drained the entire <laughs> town of water. Now they're all going to be thirsty. In their <laughs> also, Luna's being kidnapped. But I guess, you know, that's secondary to the water. <laughs> okay. So we need to make sure we have um, proper equipment for this. Um, to, uh, starlight. Where's that? Silver light, two healing, two calm herbs. That's good. We're going to turn our AI off for this because we'll, we, we want to run into a corner, not run out of the corner. <laughs> um, so Zenobi's like, ha, 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 I kidnapped her finally. <laughs> <laughs> In literally that voice. <laughs> and then uh, she's going to uh, send a whole bunch of enemies at me. And pretty much we need to be in a corner because <laughs> if too many enemies are hitting me, then I'm just going to die. So top right, top right, top right. Just move. That's not the corner. Okay, so there is a chance I can survive this, but I need help. I need one of them to hit me into the corner. <laughs> we played this game uh, of running, of getting hit into the corner yesterday, and yeah, I hope I it works better today. <laughs> yesterday, he did not want to go to a corner in this fight. Come on, someone hit me into the corner. You can do it. Nice. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Oh, I need to heal one without... Don't go last. Don't go last. Don't go last. Don't go last. Okay, we're good. We're going to win. We got it, y'all. We got it. So now only two enemies can hit me. And the uh, ones that are hitting me do ten less damage than the ones that can't hit me. <laughs> These have a lot of health. So I'm showing off my new fancy spell, by the way, that I got uh, when I was uh, uh, getting the dragon wings. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to cast a spell called Flamer. Don't kill the green ones. Uh, I'm going to do a safety here. Also, I don't need the comerbs anymore. Because there is a chance that um, this spell will not kill all of the, uh, the enemies left. Because those weren't the best Flamer damage rolls. Nice. nice. And now nice. for the levels. I gained eight levels, I think, from that encounter. <laughs> We're not underleveled at all for this fight. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then Luna gets kidnapped. Boo-hoo. So, yeah, now we got some things to do. Now we got to go rescue my girlfriend and save the world. And we need a band of, of children to, to help us out. Some upstart teenagers, maybe? As long as they're not playing card games. No. Oh, we, one of them we got to get is Jessica. Guess where she is? <laughs> <laughs> if you get tired, there's beds along the way. So just choose one. <laughs> so this is the second time we got to go through this, this place. Because, well, unfortunately, this long, windy path didn't really keep intruders out. <laughs> Especially when they could teleport like Zenobia. <laughs> we didn't think of that. There's there's magic in the world. There's ominous music too, if you can't figure it out. It's really like ominous. It sounds like Blade Runner. Like <laughs> it sounds like se like seventies like sci fi music. <laughs> and so yeah, Jessica's father, Master Mel, was turned to stone. 
And now Jessica's sad, and now she's going to join me. And just, now we get to walk out. <laughs> so you got a donation or two? Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I got one here. It's uh, $30 from OPT Lawyer 174. <coughs> Excuse me. Lunar the Silver Star was the first JRPG I ever played, and it was the catalyst for my love for the genre. Good luck with the run, High Spirits. Whee! Whee! Oh, I should have said that. Be careful before I did that. Sorry, guys. Rip earphone users. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay, so we got Jessica. Uh, now let's go get a, go get a couple more kids. Uh, although Mia's barely a kid in this. <laughs> Kyle doesn't look that young in this version either, though. Yeah, I know, but he also doesn't wear makeup, so. <laughs> 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 it's true, you are missing the best part of Kyle. Yeah. If you want to see something hilarious, you're already getting the story, go to YouTube, Google, uh, or YouTube, uh, uh, first time you meet Kyle in Lunar PlayStation version, and <laughs> you'll understand. <laughs> help me, help me! <laughs> Get away from me, you dastardly fiends! I'm gonna hurt you! <laughs> 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 That's the cutscene, but yeah. imagine clown make almost clown makeup and a dress on. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so what the context uh, context by the way, this is Kyle here. Um, is now Zenobia is going around kidnapping girls. Um, and we want to try to stop her from doing that. We don't know why. He looks like he's 80, you're right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's going around kidnapping girls for some reason, like Luna. And uh, we want to try to stop her from doing that. And uh, in the PlayStation, get out of the way. The PlayStation version, Kyle dresses up like a girl to try to get kidnapped so he can stop Zenobia. <laughs> okay, order. So this is where Nash shoot, starts to show that he's the hero. Nash, Kyle, uh, Jess, thank you. The uh, changing uh, characters in this uh, order in this game is not easy at all. Yeah, there is nothing intuitive about it, because Yeah. <laughs> okay, AI on. AI on. Okay, welcome to the worst dungeon in the game. First, it's going to look very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the Nanza barrier. This is where we got to go to get to the next part of the world. And this is a good encounter. Um, there is one enemy in here, and I'm not gonna spoil. I made the mistake of once figuring out what their name was, and I'm not gonna spoil it yet <laughs> until we get into the encounter. But uh, they're these blue guys, and they have the ability to cast slep. I mean sleep, um, <laughs> and it is horrible. So, and this is a very long dungeon, so it's it it could either be a short amount of time in here, or you could just lose minutes um, getting through this. These guys are the best because they're slow. Even slower than Nash and Mia, which is saying something. <laughs> so we're just, you know, here we go. Okay. You guys, this is where the null command comes into play. You're ready to find out what the name of these things <laughs> are. You ready? They are Count Antulus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're easy pickings. <laughs> Except for they put you to sleep. Then now, when you got the demon wolves here, um, the great thing about them is they're really fast and uh, and uh, they do damage and they go far. Oh, come on, resist, resist, resist! Yes, Mia, Jess, nice. yes, you you resisted. <laughs> now you can, you know, you, you ran away. <laughs> it wasn't the way you wanted to run away, but you ran away. <laughs> But yeah, those are count annuals. <laughs> Working Designs is known for puns and pop culture references. Um, this game only has the Wheaties reference. Lunar 2 Sega CD, I'm not going to go into the references because there are a lot of them are not appropriate for work. <laughs> um, but there is a lot of pop culture references uh, in, in Working Designs uh, localizations. Also, there's another thing that Working Designs really likes doing, and that is... They, when they brought games over, they decided they were too easy. <laughs> so any uh, work, almost any working design game that you play that is localized was probably between 10 to 25% easier in the Japanese version. <laughs> oh, Borgen, why? <laughs> it, it's more than just that. Uh, it's a lot of things, but... Uh, see, we're getting some bad luck here. Um, Kyle's running away, which is good, because he, we, as long as someone has a lot of health, I don't care. Um, ooh, so far, good. 
See if Jess and Alex can do it. Or at least Jess. Because she has a lot of health still. She's not going to get one shot. This is why I don't heal. Um, because the slow people keep um, getting taken out. And you don't have to wait for the, everyone to always attack every time. Because they get taken out. And then your fast people run. Um, so that's that's the premise behind why you're not gonna see me not gonna see me heal um, a whole lot <laughs> unless it's like okay no one has a lot of health left I might actually die if I don't heal someone <laughs> oh we're still on the first floor <laughs> yeah this is uh, a very lengthy dungeon <laughs> so you got you know a few minutes over there if I uh, you know if you want to keep us busy for a while sure this would be a wonderful time to tell you about the yeti. Um, RPG LB is proud to once again be partnering up with Yeti to bring you eight, eight, count them, eight amazing looking t shirts. Head over to <laughs> yeti.com backslash RPG limit break. Take a look at the designs, pick up the ones you want, and know that $4 from every t shirt purchased will be donated to Nami. Remember, Yeti is spelled Y E T E E, the Yeti.com backslash RPG LB. This is the worst encounter, by the way, because those slugs don't move. That Barclay shirt is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want to get a shirt, <laughs> Barclay Shut Up and Jam Gaiden shirt right there. <laughs> that is, like, one of the top games ever. Right up there with Virtual Hotline and maybe Lunar as a close third. Why would you, why would you say such horrible things? <laughs> Did we ever reach the 101% incentive for Virtual Hotline? I mean, we've got time to, to, to waste. <laughs> right. be here As you a see, while. we're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they finally... Re they, okay, so they each can cast sleep twice. So um, <laughs> after they use their sleep, then they finally can come up there and hit you. But yeah. <laughs> At least the slugs are in front this time, right? <laughs> this is uh, genuine high spirits luck right here. <laughs> Hey, Mia's staying awake so far. Look at that magic <laughs> resistance go. I'd rather Kyle be the one to run away because of the full health thing. <laughs> so how's that we go. favorite local sports team? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, sports ball is awesome, and the virtual uh, hide laid, uh, the 100... 1% is at 125 out of 300, so it still needs a bit of help out there, so. I guess there's still a couple days, so I, I can forgive. I can forgive for now. We're still in this fight. <laughs> we, still have, uh, we, we still have quite a bit to go for some of the Disgaea incentives. Oh yeah, get those um, in first. Defeat Ball is at 114 out of 500, so. Quite a bit of help needs to be done there. Um, the massive damage demonstration is $5 out of 300. And then, of course, we have the uh, bid war for Name the Prennies. So let's get some of those donations in, rolling in. And the uh, bid war for the name in Soul Blazer is still open. Listen to that music. Isn't that great? So we're in the final room of the dungeon, and finally. At least Kyle got away. See, this is fine. Like, this encounter is fine because the person that doesn't it has more than one health got away. So, we got four demon boxes, demon wolves that are going to help us escape. <laughs> or at least motivate Nala enough to help us escape. <laughs> 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 oh, now you want help. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give it. At least the, this dungeon, these dungeons are going to get new colors soon. Yes, that, that is true. I mean, though, this is like a different shade of brown. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah. So you'll notice Nash is in front, and uh, that's because he is the true hero of this game. And uh, we need him in front to, uh, to, to give, give courage and, and, you know, and protect the, uh, the party members. Um, and yeah. Nash's true role all along has been tank and not mage. Yeah. He's doing. He's helping out. You he know? is. I he's agree. leading by example. <laughs> Actually, I hope he's not leading by example. <laughs> 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 so welcome to the next zone in the game. Eventually, there we go. Mm -hmm. Good old CD. Sometimes take their time. Um, first thing we're gonna do is stop in a loop here. This is just to get the return point. Uh, we'll be back here very soon. Uh, and it's kind of long away, so. Uh, 
the next place we're gonna go to is Riza. Um, we're trying to rescue Luna, but at the same time, we're trying to meet the dragons. So we're trying to find any information we can about where the other three dragons are. And um, that's why we're going to the next town. Pretty cut and dry, huh? Oh, hi, Nash. Bye, Nash. <laughs> Oh, all of these wyverns. Oh. In the words of another lunar speedrunner, die, Nash, die. <laughs> Time to die. <laughs> lunar One PlayStation has a battle uh, saw, um, com or comments, uh, battle uh, sayings, and uh, when you fight the final boss, all you hear for... 23 minutes is time <laughs> to die. Two to three times a round, by the way, because he gets two to three attacks per round. <laughs> so this is Riza. It's a thieves town. It's a really bad place to be. Why Why do we know that? Because we get our dragon wings stolen from us the moment we enter the town. And we kind of got to get those back so we can teleport. So we try chasing after the thief, and we find out that, hey, only thieves are allowed in here, so we want to become a thief. So this guy is going to give us a task to become a thief, and it's simple. Open this chest. So Kyle breaks the chest open, and we are now part of the Thieves Guild. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, so thieves are not supposed to allowed to steal from thieves. It's re it's retroactive, apparently. So now that we're a th officially a thief, we can go get our dragon wings back. That's so much easier than every other version, isn't it? <laughs> Where they make you go through dungeons and, and other things. Yeah, pretty much. Also, those red chests I talked about earlier, we now have the ability to open all of the red chests. Thanks to Kyle being able to just break them open. Except we're never going to go for any of them. Yeah, I know. So we bought here um, three cascade rings, which you can use as an item in combat to raise everyone's attack power. Uh, we got three specific areas that we want to use those. But we also picked up a thing called a rain cloud. Um, that's how you get to the, where the red dragon is. And for the first time ever, we're going to meet Lake. Oh, supposed to be the second time, but... Hi, Lake. He's a traveler, I heard. Totally. <laughs> oh, so, we the, the big thing is we know about the Red Dragon now, but we don't know how to get there. So, we need to find a way to get there. And thankfully, there, he tells us about this guy in Iluk, uh, the town of Iluk where I just was at. Um, well, I was told that there is a... Uh, there it is. A, uh, a guy there who can make us a balloon that will allow us to get to where the volcano is. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a good idea. I'm all for this. <laughs> we need to talk to this guy in order to progress the story. And nice picture of Luna, by the way. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely no, that what like, you that's meant. Luna. <laughs> uh, I mean, come on. Sprites are the same in this game. It's an old game. You think they, re they use that same picture everywhere? <laughs> 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 okay. In order to get the balloon to work, we need a giant root. This is a little bit of RNG, and it's also the only time in the game where I'll grind a, hopefully only grind a few fights. <laughs> uh, we need this to, this item to drop from an enemy. Not in this encounter, though. <laughs> but yeah, we need a we need an I, a drop uh, item drop, and um, I don't know the exact percentages. I think it's 35 to 40 percent. But I like to say it'll happen anywhere between 1 and 25 encounters. Because <laughs> that has happened before. <laughs> but we also need to kill at least 3 to 4 fights. Mo at least 4 usually um, for experience. And we're going to fight these plants here. Uh, we're going to attack with a couple and run with a bunch. Uh, we want Mia to stick around to get a little experience. Uh, these guys don't do anything um, unless you start the turn next to you to them, and then they hit you really hard. So, uh, what kind of luck are we gonna get with a giant root? Cause not first try. Nope. What are you calling for? I think five to ten is average for me. I I'm hoping less than ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say five. Thank you for being somewhat generous. <laughs> I'd like, I like to say you got at least a four uh, counter buffer to give it to me because I need the experience anyways. Three. Wow, someone's being real nice. We're an hour and a half into the game. <laughs> Did you see Blackjack? It's already not going the right way. <laughs> okay, so this is what? Three now? Yep. Yep. 
I, there is one time where I, in five encounters, I got three rope or three giant roots, so. Nope, three. I'm sorry, Meta. <laughs> also kind of stinks that you're only getting formations of three here. Yeah, I know. You get formations of three and four. But if it's not going to drop the root anyways, <laughs> give me three all you want. Just make the flights go faster, please. Okay, I'll probably run with Mia after this. Because I don't know if I got enough experience yet. Four! Oh, and I need another encounter. That was super lucky. <laughs> I got it in four, but I need another encounter. So you get out of there. I'll take four. Four is a good one. Four is a very good one. Like I said, top four. Give me in four fights, which I needed five because I got no four formations. But if you get it within four, you got a buffer. See, I'm nice. I don't need to first try. There we go. We got our levels. Ring, 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 ring. Let's make a balloon. <laughs> and then we get a, 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 a good 50 second cutscene where we get to fly the balloon. I still haven't figured out looking at this balloon. We, uh, we sit on each other's lap, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, we got a 50 second cutscene. All right. Uh, doesn't look like we've got any more donations in the moment, but I can let you know a very important fact. One five Americans with the, live with a mental health condition, and with May being Mental Health Month, we at RPG Limbrick are proud to be raising money for NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness. So that's a volcano, <laughs> and there's a broken shrine. Oh, so Athena shrines. <laughs> Funny thing, in this game, there's several of them. You go there, you give them money, they heal you. That one, you give them money, they don't take your money. <laughs> So you can keep giving them, but you only can give them 10 silver, I think it is. So you can, it, it, they actually give you this um, 10 silver back is what they do. So, uh, well, they don't, yeah, so you can actually get rich off of that if you're really patient. It's a broken shrine. None of the others work like that. Somebody broke the steering. Yeah, oh, Jessica's uh, driving. Oh, yeah, this is great. Watch this. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> and Nall looks so concerned. <laughs> So we flow around in the uh, in the balloon. We found the volcano. We also found this place called Damon Spire. Uh, and if you go around talking to people, you find out Damon is this guy who like can see the future. And we think, hey, that's a good idea. Maybe he can tell us who's going to get kidnapped next, and we can stop Zenobia in her tracks. So we need to. Oops, I did that. Some sometimes uh, I always forget that uh, it's no longer on run. <laughs> it's the fight after uh, the uh, the grind there. Um, but yeah, so we want to get to David Spire and maybe, you know, the volcano too, because it's kind of in that direction. Seems like a good idea. We're trying to visit the dragons. But uh, we don't have a balloon anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. Uh, wait, I thought I pushed up. <laughs> I think I input got eaten. Oh, well. Yeah. This game, uh, you have to be a little slow with inputs sometimes. Also, one thing you'll notice is, I never talked about it, but um, this game does not buffer inputs um, when you enter a zone. When you enter a zone. Uh, it only, um, so every time like I enter a screen transition, like entering the town up here, I actually have to not touch the D-pad at all until I load into the screen. Otherwise, you won't move. Even if you hold it at all the whole time, you just won't move unless you let go and then actually press the button again. But when you're already in a zone, um, like after combat there, you could just hold the button and you'll start moving in the direction you want to go after the fight. That's why every time I enter an area, you'll you'll see me pause briefly because I have to wait to move my characters. I can't just do it when I uh, well during the loading loading screen. I blame di not they're not being diagonal for that. <laughs> we enter the town of Marriott here. Uh, we're looking for someone to give us clues on how to get to those places. Thankfully, this guy in the bar. That's a great idea. <laughs> That's Sometimes you got to go there to get your best idea. Oh, Kyle's already drunk, too. He's been drinking a little bit too much. And we only crashed like three seconds ago. He's 80. He's allowed to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go through and pick up our party members. They're all uh, scattered around town. And we, uh, we we talk into that guy, and he says, Hey, you know, there, there's, that tur there's a turtle somewhere around there that really likes music. You should go play music around it, and it should take you to Damon Spire, because that's how he gets there. Oops, what are you doing over there? 
So we're going to go play music for a turtle. Because why not? Who doesn't want to play music for a turtle? Seems like a good idea, right? Right? Music? Everyone yeah. loves music yeah. and turtles. It's just totally coincidental that your main character has a harp. At least the harp sounds better than the ocarina. It yeah. does. <laughs> and oh yeah, Nash is back in front because lead on, hero! <laughs> <laughs> And we get another cutscene after we play the beautiful harp. <laughs> da, da, da. Although it's really hard to tell that that's a turtle, <laughs> but it is a turtle. Really hard to tell that that's a harp. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great piano harp you have on you. <laughs> Can you give me a C sharp? So I've got five dollars from Phil R. Says. Love those lunar games. Three cheers for Meat Shield Nash. <laughs> Money here, goes here, to virtual here, highway. Here, here, here. <laughs> At least I was glad to cheer for Nash. I'm sorry, I will never be happy to cheer for Nash. No, oh, we were cheering for him to be a meat tank, though. Remember? Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, so we land right here between this land mass, which is really convenient, believe it or not. And we're just going to stop at Damon Spire to get the return point and head to the volcano. Now, these are not trees you can walk through. See? Boink. <laughs> so what happens at this point if you accidentally use the dragon wings? Uh, doesn't matter. Can you get back here? Uh, you can't until you actually enter somewhere. Oh. Dragon wings have a tendency in this game to not work when you don't want them to. Or when the game doesn't want you to. Gotcha. Convenient when you're with Lake, right? It is, actually. Those, those bonefish are uh, not fun because they get triple attacks. And uh, they waste a lot of time. Yeah, there, there is another uh, runner. Uh, props out to Holy Smith. Um, and he was wondering if you play the, if you use the Dragon Wings, rather, are you just kind of soft lock because the turtle doesn't move back? <laughs> Turtle's like, no, I only played the music once. <laughs> you said harp. I was disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the volcano. It's uh, the rain cloud gets us in. It's the only other dungeon in the game where we have the sleep enemies. And this dungeon is very pretty. And it's very short, too, because like a lot of the dungeons, there's a, there's a handful of dungeons um, in the game where they're actually, like, this is really a big dungeon. But the the quickest way through it is basically to take the first exit on every floor. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that with uh, some dungeons in this game. So you know, we're just back and forth a little bit here. Maybe we'll go down. You know, down's a nice direction. <laughs> As long as you're not going out of your way to get treasure chests, these dungeons are very short. Yeah. Like, if you go out of your way to get chests, they're <laughs> you're going to be in there forever. And you're going to fight uh, a thousand encounters. and They take a long time, basically. Also, different design, as you can see. There's no longer the folding walls. They're like, <laughs> they're like earth walls. And you get the nice little lava puddles. I know. We should go play in the puddles. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah, these guys, uh, they're pretty fast, and they, uh, they move pretty far, so they, uh, they get some decent amount of attacks. In. These don't move at all. They're like the, the flowers that I fought. You get near them, then they'll headbutt you, but when you're away, well, you know, it's the Black Knight. Cowards, come back and fight me! I'll bite your ankles! <laughs> Oh, those are the sleep enemies. Those are what we didn't want to see. <laughs> because the other enemy in this encounter is the enemy that doesn't move. <laughs> so I am at the mercy of these bugs until they cast all their sleep and decide to attack me. <laughs> Nash, please. <sighs> there we go. We're almost done with the dungeon. <laughs> Now, this dungeon does not actually have a boss. Like the uh, forest way at the beginning of the game, it just has a forced random encounter you can run from. And guess what the random encounter is? <laughs> the bugs. Hey, everyone but Nash again. <laughs> Come on, Nash, resist. 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 You can do it, Nash. You can do it. We have faith. You're the hero. Nice. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is why he's the hero. <laughs> And, yeah, no boss. We just come here because um, you got to get our Dragon Master item. And we're going to learn that we're too late. The dragon has already been, been killed by Gally. Sad face. 
And his spirit is going to come and talk to me and says, you'll be a dragon master someday. Never give up. Never surrender on your dream. Thanks, Mister. You're welcome. <laughs> and we get this fancy, uh, the shield of the red dragon. And a bunch of bonus experience. <laughs> Thunder Thumper. That's all I want to see right now is Thunder Thumper. <laughs> and we get a new spell, too. It's slightly stronger than the last spell that I used. <laughs> it's not until you get to the last two forms of the uh, of the, the spells, Dragon Quake and uh, Holy Light, that, you, that they actually really ramp up in uh, damage. Oh, man, Holy Light. That spell is so wonderful. <laughs> and not only is Alex a mage in this game, but he is ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> yep, yeah. but it's a lot of magic to use the late stuff. That's the problem. We couldn't teleport out of those blue rooms, but we, once you get out of there, you can teleport out. Uh, and back to, uh, to mirror, uh, to, uh, wow. <laughs> that moment when you totally have a, a brain fart. <laughs> well, to Damon Spire, there we go. I mean, it's understandable. You could mistake it for Marriott Forest. I know. Usually you gotta go through the Marriott Forest before you go to Damon Spire exactly. in some versions of the game. <laughs> exactly, so it's a totally okay mistake. I didn't see no Marriott Forest here. <laughs> but yeah, this guy lives in a tower all alone, seeing the future. And uh, we want to go talk to him and say, hey, who's going to get kidnapped next? So we can stop that from happening and capture the evil Zenobia. Or slightly misunderstood Zenobia. Evil never thinks they're evil. They just think they're doing the right thing. It's just an evil way of doing the right thing. <laughs> she thinks she's doing the right thing, but it's just really not a good thing that she thinks she's doing the right thing. That's good, right? Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Welcome to a dungeon where we don't just go left and right. <laughs> we need to actually go into the basement here and uh, Rufus! And, uh, and grab the key so we can climb the tower. That is the best enemy in all of Lunar. That his name is Rufus. He's just a giant walking bull. Can't go wrong with that, right? Of course not. If I was a giant walking bull, I'd like to be named bull. I'd like to be named Rufus too. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Beaker. <laughs> beaker, Beaker. They are fast, but they don't move at all. So it's a pretty good encounter to get. Now, no more encounters. No more encounters. Come on, no more encounters. Let me get to the stairs. Yes. Yep. Now so, you're good. There is a reason why I'm excited for that. Because this is the one time in the game where you get to hear the music loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are absolutely no encounters on this upper level here. Yep. And the loop is kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so after we get the key and walk back a ways, although there's a very small chance we can get into an encounter getting the key. Very small. Very, very small. No encounter. So coming up here shortly, you're, you might be able to guess when the loop happens. I don't know. It's it's really close. So, you know, we'll just let you listen to the music. This docile tunes. Almost there. Man, I might have to wait a second. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was super subtle, so if you didn't pick up on it, we totally understand. That is amazing. Oops. I have <laughs> someone forgot to put stop on the recording. <laughs> <laughs> look how far I've gone without an encounter too, anyways. I, would, I didn't have to sit there and wait three seconds. Oh, did I go up the stairs and encounter on the door? <laughs> This is the one enemy you don't really want to see because their their attacks are really slow and they're pretty fast, so you almost always get stuck with me and Nash yeah. in this encounter. But Rufus, <laughs> we like Rufus. <laughs> in Lunar 2, uh, yeah, they, they reuse uh, enemies in the games between 1 and 2. Go figure. Uh, Rufus in Lunar 2 is, uh, is, the, is the shape. Of, uh, our encounters are on the map. You can see the encounters. And they're actually monkeys that fling mud, but they're giant walking bulls named Rufus. It makes no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so this is David. He's gonna tell me who's gonna get kidnapped. And it's the Guildmaster's daughter in uh, in Riza. So uh, we're gonna go save the Guildmaster's daughter in Riza because we know she's gonna get kidnapped. Also, we're gonna hear some really funky, sweet tunes. You ready for some funky tunes? Here I am go. absolutely ready. This is the Zenobia music. We just talk to her and she kidnaps her right in front of us. <laughs> and goodbye, sweet funky no, Zenobia. No, bring back uh, my tunes. We failed, we failed. These are nuts. Wing oops to Myriad. So yeah, we, we knew she was gonna get kidnapped. We did all of that for no reason. <laughs> and we just, as we just sit there and watch her just like slowly, cause it wasn't even a fast walk. It was like step, 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 step. Turn the corner, step, 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 step. <laughs> now I'm gonna kidnap you. Wait a second, <laughs> teleport. <laughs> and we're like. <sighs> Why did we not see that coming right there? I know. <laughs> Now, you'll notice a couple features on the right we passed. One, the first one is a hot springs. There's two of them, men only and women only. No, we're not going to them. And the second was a transmission spring that goes to the frontier, but it's kind of broken. Someone drank all the water. But we missed out on Mia's wrist. It's the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> we come to Linton here now, <laughs> and we're going to talk to this mage. He's going to be like, I had a dream about a guy named Alex who's going to save the world. And he, he asks, what's your name? And I go, Alex. He's like... I'm going to open the way to the blue dragon for you. <laughs> Go save the world. <laughs> and that's all we did in that conversation. <laughs> we now open the way to the blue dragon. <laughs> Sometimes dreams come true. What can you say? I didn't really need that heal. It's not like I took any uh, encounters. Except for there. So you got these flying bat fish. <laughs> Again, everything that flies is a problem. Yeah. Also, those orc, no, those goblin kings back there, they're not orc kings, goblin kings, they are annoying for the sake that they have the thumper spell, which you haven't seen yet. Uh, it's something Nash is going to use on the next boss fight. Uh, that has the chance to stun in, uh, enemies. And since Nash is so slow, they like to get thumpers off a lot, so sometimes you get stuck in an endless fight, um, if they're alone especially, uh, because Nash just won't run away. Sometimes you just need to help him run away. <laughs> At least this dungeon's unique. I mean, it's we're blue. going we're going in all directions. <laughs> this is great because they're slow. Like it's no left right left right. You know, it's it's no folding brown passages. It's blue. And there's what I assume is water on the ground. Oh, blue dragon, water dragon. You know what. <laughs> Flash. Now, we're not going to pick up a whole lot of jet armor in this game. Just like one or two, one piece for everyone, two for Jessica, you know, just to help her out a little bit. So we're going to equip those, we're going to equip the Holy Shield. Nash gets the other one. He's still not wearing anything. And uh, I think that uh, Jessica took damage. I need to heal at least once. We're not really going to heal Nash the full, because he doesn't need it. He'll be fine. He's, a, he's the leader. Exactly. Welcome, yeah, welcome to the boss, Brainiac. <laughs> that is his name, <laughs> Brainiac. I love the little messages at the beginning of the battle, like, oh, no, it's the Brainiac. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we're going to go start using some of our new fancy new spells. Since we gained a lot of spells since the last time we fought. Um... What we want here is we want uh, Nash to hit him with Thunder Thumper. Thunder Thumper has a chance to stun him, and we kind of want that because this guy does a lot of damage. We need to uh, to stun him at least a couple times. And then I did another spell there with the clouds called De, De Protect. It lowers an enemy's defense by a set amount. C good job, man. Keep attacking. <laughs> and uh, it's a set amount, so... You can use it a certain amount of times at each boss before their uh, defense reaches zero. In the case of Brainiac, it's only you only need to cast it twice. Oh, Thumper failed. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for being useful, Nash. <laughs> you can't even you can't even die at the right time. That's actually no, actually that's not terrible because Mia no longer needs to cast D Protect. So 
Although I'd rather have her dealing damage. Um, she's also a healer. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice that everybody in this game has uh, some kind of litany spell. Yeah. They have a litany of healing. <laughs> At least he died, I mean. That's true. Ooh, I, I no mean, knockback. we did want him to die. Yeah. Yeah, you'll notice um, sometimes uh, attacks knock you back, other times they don't. In a lot of these boss fights, I want knockback because then it splits damage between party members instead of, you know, Kyle getting hit three times. At least Kyle's beefy and he has a lot of HP. Yeah. And Brainiac is just about gone. That attack, though. Look at his face when he does that. His eyes light up. He's like, he's so, su he's <laughs> so excited to eat him with his 15 tentacles coming out of his mouth. Ooh. Didn't go for Alex. That's fine. He's alive. Should be just about gone. There, there we you go. go. Psychotron. Psychotron. Nice. Psychotron. Okay. Psychotron. Best spell name. Best, best uh, name for a spell ever, right? <laughs> I bet you you can't guess what Psychotron does. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll hold you in suspense for a minute before I show you or tell you what Psychotron does. But first, we need to get our new blue spell. And oh yeah, we're late. Dragon's dead. Uh, we're really late on everything, aren't we? I blame Nash. Uh, Nash, I can... Wow, I can't words today. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta Nash your words better then, huh? <laughs> 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 and the best thing, new spell, a hel fancy helmet, and story experience. And then, why do we hate Nash? Because he betrays us. We get some funky sweet tunes, though. Not only does he take our helmet, but he splits, too. Yeah. Don't split the helmet, though. I need that later. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he betrays us and runs with Zenobia and steals our dragon helmet. Um, I'll get into it in a second. Why is Psychotron... Or what does Psychotron do, I should say? It teleports you out of a dungeon. <laughs> Why they named it Psychotron, I don't know, but that's pretty wild. Yeah, that... Is absolutely the last thing I would have ever expected playing this game. <laughs> if you don't look up what the spells do online, you'll never know. You just never will. There's a spell called Luck Litany. It it uh charms the enemy. What? I mean, <laughs> hey, look! I'm pretty lucky. They're attacking each other. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the reason why Nash betrays us is because Nash really likes Mia, and. Uh, he doesn't think that we can beat Zenobia and the Magic Emperor Galleon. So he decides to join him and steal my helmet so I can't become a Dragon Master. Which in turn means Mia won't come and die to Galleon. You know, solid theory, right? Totally. You know, betray the one you love to try to keep her alive. But joke's on him. I'm not that smart. <laughs> we're, com <laughs> we're coming for you, Galleon. <laughs> This is the... <laughs> uh, okay, so we're in Timur, and here we meet our buddy Lake. And uh, Lake is like, hey, you know, I know this guy named Might. And he might just have a way to make a balloon for us so you can, so you can still go save your precious Luna and save the world. Who's Luna? Oh, yeah, she was someone we, t we knew about in our party an hour ago that hasn't been mentioned <laughs> most of the game so far. She might be important. Uh, <laughs> But Only a little bit, though. <laughs> just a little bit. Might is, uh, as he calls himself, the stinky genius inventor. And he lives in a puzzle tower that, <laughs> that's comprised of two rooms that just alternate back and forth for several times. And uh, uh, we need to go to him alone because he's afraid of people or he doesn't like people. So we leave everyone behind and just take Lake with us. Um, the big thing about this dungeon is... Uh, is going the right... Oh, wait is going the right way, but uh, you'll notice there's some tubes that actually go down. Um, you don't want to go down those. This is kind of like, there, there's a lot of traps in this area where you have to kind of figure out your way through the tubes. If you go down the wrong tube, you go back to the first floor. You start over. So you 
got to be careful. Like, you go down that one, you go back to start. No collecting two <laughs> gold. You might collect 200 gold, though, if you kill enough enemies. But you won't just get it for free. <laughs> and, yeah, so this is just, you know, alternating dungeon. You got a minute over there yeah. if you're good. Perfect. So I have an $85 donation from uh, Follow Kinex. It says, I can't wait to see even more of the marathon. This is still a marathon that means a lot to me as someone with some personal issues and as a massive fan of RPGs. I have to donate to RPG LB, and I'm sure I'll donate again when I can think of a particular incentive. We've got $20 from John from uh, NC. Greetings, RPG Limp Break. This is one of my favorite annual gaming events and benefits one of my favorite causes. Really loving this lunar run? as I've only ever played this Lunar 2 PS1 remaster. Donation goes to naming Squall Edgy Boy, because whatever. Story's got a big edge. Uh, $20 from Is the Band Ready? Glad to donate to help name the rival after my nephew with Arishel. And finally, $10 from Bregan. Good morning, all my lovelies. Thank you for running this event. Mental health is extremely important. Shout out to all the runners and organizers. I hope to be able to help out at the event next year. Cheers. This is an amazing event. I've been here every year except for once. Pretty much when I couldn't afford to come. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, Might. And you'll notice there's three helpers around there. One of them has a triangle hat. One has a top hat. And the other one has Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> He went to Disneyland. <laughs> but we talked to my... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what I forgot to do? I almost made a mistake. I forgot to talk to him two more times. <laughs> so you got to talk to him until he says uh, he needs time. Because uh, he says, sure, I'll build you a balloon to get to the frontier. Uh, but I need time. And I didn't... Wait, and if I would have fell down this tube... <laughs> Back to the dungeon again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stopped myself this close. We're going down the tube. That was close. I know. I was ready to count that mistake. <laughs> you didn't even know I was doing it. <laughs> sure I did. I could have went through the dungeon again. You would have said, yeah, he had to go through the... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she does speed run the game. If Holy Smith is here, you'd have pretty much every speedrunner of this game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, par uh, there is supposedly some person who's working on uh, the RNG seeds that High Spirits mentioned earlier, too. So that that would be interesting down the line. Yeah. But I don't step do routes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tempest and Fresca. Uh, they are from the uh, tribesmen from the POW area, area. And this is going to be the most epic fight ever. Are you ready for the thrills and the chills of Tempest vs. Alex. Just to prove our manhood, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> look at those, look at it. I bet you oh I think I think I won. I don't know. It ended kind of abruptly. <laughs> 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 so we prove ourselves as a man, I guess. Uh, and he tells us, hey, my village of Pau has a curse on it. All of the women keep falling asleep and I can't we can't stop the curse. And they asked me to come and deal with the curse. So we do. And then Sad face. <sighs> dun, dun. Nash is back. He decided that he decided betraying me, and then he decided to betray Galleon. And he brings back my dragon helmet and says, I really want to be with you. I made a mistake. He even comes limping in all sad and everything. And, well, he did get beat up, though, so that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> Nash, uh, oops, I need you here. And you really gonna let him get beat up more now? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you think you'd be happy at Gellion's side, you know? <laughs> Maybe Gellion just doesn't put him in the front of the party enough times. And he, want, he wanted to come back here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go to Pow. Now, this big giant hole, you see that giant hole in the earth? There is a story behind it. And I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Uh, the four dragons, you know, they're all commanded by, they were all commanded by Dragon Master Dine 15 years ago. Well, the black dragon kind of went on a rampage and decided to scratch the earth, as you can see. Um, and Dine ended up having to kill the dragon to stop him from, tor from destroying everything. And in the process, it cost Dine all of his Dragon Master powers and killed him. 
So uh, that's the main reason why Galleon is so cranky. I said cranky is a good word. Uh, is because he blames the dragons for killing Dine, and now he wants to destroy the world to get revenge. <laughs> That was the curse, putting all of the women to sleep. So we got none of our female party members to help us out to uh, to stop the curse. What we need to do is we need to go into this cave over here, to Crimzol's cave, uh, and uh, get the item required to stop the curse. Otherwise, all of the women will keep passing out. And unfortunately, we are back to folding walls. Yeah. But a new cream color, though. <laughs> Now in cream. There's also a couple really good weapons in here. One that we'll actually use for a while. Um, the pixie bow. The pixie bow is actually a really powerful bow for Dash. Thankfully, we don't want him to die in every boss encounter. Now we just want him to die in maybe one more boss encounter. Because <laughs> the pixie bow does a lot of damage. Because it's, it's, it's a pretty strong weapon. And it's ranged, so Nash never dies if he's out of melee. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna pick up another weapon. This is for uh, this is the pixie whip. The only person who can use the pixie whip is the temp character that we're about to pick up here. <laughs> Tempest, you know, temp Tempest. <laughs> uh, Tempest. I would say this is the only version of Lunar where Tempest is actually useful. <laughs> I agree with that. It's also the only version he doesn't use a bow and arrow. Yep, we gave that to, to Nash instead. Because Nash can't use whips. Actually, he can use whips. But then who would use the bow? I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, Tempest gets three attacks. And uh, they're ranged attacks. And he's really fast. If you didn't notice, he was already out of this fight. He, uh, he runs away first almost every time. Not every time, but almost. And that means you don't have to worry about healing out of combat. Because you notice how all of these enemies are going before my party. Uh, Alex is the only one who has any health left right now. And he's going to lose a bunch right here. You know, having that character with a lot of health... Ooh, got away. That, uh, that always runs away means I don't have to waste time healing going through these dungeons. Or this dungeon, at least. Yeah, but from this point on, it, it's usually not too bad in terms of having to do that in an emergency. Yep. Healing so slow. It is. <laughs> want to heal. I just want Nash to. <laughs> okay, so this fight can be annoying, um, but it's also like the best fight you can get in here, and there's a reason why. The Scream Sphere is slow, but he is not always slower than Nash. And the Scream Sphere is one of the enemies in the game that does Thunder Thumper, the a uh, spell that paralyzes you. <laughs> So having that one encounter enemy there with the Scream Sphere means it kills off Nash, and then he, then everyone runs away so no one gets thumper. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great fight because you get rid of Nash and you don't have to worry about him getting frozen. Because like this, watch me gone, and now everyone runs. Don't have to worry about thumper. <laughs> He does his job good, at least. He does. Although he did fail. The one thing at time I really need him to do his job, he failed the thumper and ended up dying in the first turn. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we are going to come up on still some more not-so-fun boss fights. <laughs> yeah. They, now we're at the point of the game now where Flea doesn't matter. So if I die, bye to a, uh, bye to a DOS fight, <laughs> if I die to a boss fight... <laughs> Um, it's because I either got a really bad turn order or just, you know, mostly it's a really bad turn order. Or it's just because the bosses actually legitimately can kill you. So we're going to pick up the last sword Kyle will ever need. It is the insane sword. And it is insanely out of the way. <laughs> no, it's not. No, that was that's the, the armor. That was, that was the good yeah. one. You just have to take a couple of steps. <laughs> yeah, the insane the armor. Armor, yeah, it's the armor. That's out of the way. <laughs> so we're going to heal up here. Okay, equip. Uh, I put the dragon helmet on already? Why would I do that? <laughs> okay, uh, whip. You get bow and you get helmet. Insane sword. 
You don't need to say for all of these bosses that I am, but for marathon safety, I am. So attack. Yeah, just because the checkpoints can oh, no, sometimes be scythe. super far away. Oops. I fat figured it come or uh, command. I think I did. Yeah. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. Although it's not necessarily everything I wanted to do. Because I really wanted to use magic there. Oh well. It's I, fine. Okay, I, never mind. I was like, I don't have enough magic to do what I want, but I'll just pass. Actually, I wanted to use the cascade ring there. But because I didn't quite get what I wanted, I'll save my magic for healing. This guy doesn't have a lot of health, but you notice I'm doing a lot of damage to him. I would do a lot more if I did the cascade ring to raise my attack power, but... He attacks four times. This is the Incan God. That's all he does is he attacks four times. He doesn't move very far, so... At the beginning of the fight, he just doesn't even do damage to you. This boss is so random. <laughs> and he died to 10 damage, so that was nice. We got a few levels. And killing him... I'm missing something. It's on, um, Kyle. Did I equip it by accident? Yeah, yeah. because the helmet's sitting there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Protected by the power of wind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, I bought three of these. Well, the helmet doesn't reduce much damage. It just reduces like a couple, but... More than the wind essence does. <laughs> <laughs> That was totally not a mistake. It was intended. Yeah, you could have warned me earlier. <laughs> I thought it would be more fun to check out how the boss fight would go. <laughs> In the case of the helmet, it doesn't change anything. Exactly. It's the confusion after the <laughs> boss fight that was an issue. <laughs> so we lift a curse. We save all the girls. And this one woman up here, this old lady, is going to actually be like, Hey, I'm going to help you get to the frontier since Mel is very slow at making balloons. She's going to give me some special water. And that water, I'm going to take to a broken transmission spring, which will allow me to bas basically go to the frontier. Nice and easy. The frontier is pretty big. It is definitely massive. With some long dungeons. And it's a family reunion. <laughs> I guess we'll get to that one in a couple minutes, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I mean, unless unless you'd like one of us to actually say what happened around there. <laughs> sure, you know. You, when we get into the mines, do some story time. Sure. <laughs> and then you can see how bad of, yeah. Okay, those guys thumper, so I was like, uh, please don't thumper, spam. Best sound. <laughs> that little bottle of water that I got. <laughs> I was carrying a bathtub with me. I'm sorry, it wasn't a little bottle. I, I just, I just took the hose all the way from Pow all the way to the transmission spring here. We just filled up the pool. So this is one of the longest dungeons in the game, but it is one of those basically left-right dungeons. So you know, you got some time over there if you want to kill. Perfect. We've got thirty dollars from Ridlade eighty-five. Hi, everybody. Hi. Glad to donate for such a great cause. Keep doing the good work, and like we say in France, and I'm going to apologize ahead of this for this pronunciation, but uh, gardez la pêche. And uh, $10 from Light one High spirits gives me high spirits. It's better than low spirits. <laughs> no one likes low spirits. And just a, as a reminder, this is RPG Limb Break 2018, and we are here raising money for NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which was formed in 1979 as a grassroots advocacy organization by a group of parents whose children suffered with serious mental illnesses, and NAMI have maintained that focus to this day. Lots of lefts. Sorry, I lied. It wasn't a left-right dungeon. It was a left dungeon. 
Mia got thumbbird, but she resisted. Good job, Mia. Back to the brown, ugly brown dungeon. Unfortunately, at least for now. Yeah. Pretty soon we get some really cool pink and bla on black. <laughs> <laughs> and while we uh, anticipate that lovely color combo, uh, just another reminder is that the next game is Soul Blazer, and there is an uh, open bid war for uh, naming the character in that. And there are a few uh, incentives that still need to be met for uh, Disgaea 5 coming up after that. Um, defeat Ball with the speedrun setup, which is at 114 out of 500, so we need quite a bit to come in for that. And uh, Massive Damage Demonstration, which is only $5 out of 300, so let's get some money in so we can see some pretty awesome demonstrations. Welcome to the purple on black. Not only that, but it sparkles. I know. It's very, it's very, it's brilliant. <laughs> so we're in the frontier now. Uh, you notice we passed a town there called Caden. There's nothing exciting there. <laughs> so we went right for this cave. This is actually the black dragon cave. The last dragon. I mean, we failed to save all the other ones, but we already know the black dragon's dead because Dine killed him 15 years ago. <laughs> I mean, surprise! Uh, <laughs> or not a surprise! <laughs> this one. I always count that one wrong. And, uh, yeah. But there's one problem, though. We can't really get to the end of the cave because this cave is kind of split into two. What we're going to do is we're just going to do the first half. Until we find out that it's split into, and then we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna meet an old man just waiting at the end of the tunnel, uh, <laughs> and he's gonna give us a, a hero crest that'll allow us to uh, to take it to someone who will allow us to go into the other half of the cave where we actually want to be. For now, we're just gonna get poked a little bit by these guys over and over again. They show up in packs of eight. They don't move far. They don't do a lot of damage. They poison, but. They can surround your party, which is kind of annoying. Dragon Caves do have some very good music, though. Yeah. I think they steal some of them from Blue Dragon Song. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I know. <laughs> Why? Why would you mention that? Because I can't go one stream without mentioning Lunar Dragon oh, Song. Why? <laughs> And for those at home who are interested <laughs> in Lunar Dragon Song, I heard it was supposed to be the next great DS RPG, the one that was supposed to, at the time, save the JR series on the DS. And then instead, it destroyed Lunar. <laughs> Story experience. And we got Dines, Dines a sword. Uh, did I get everything else on everyone? Oops. Thank you. We're, uh, yeah, it's such a massive upgrade because we basically haven't gotten Alex anything since that puny little axe. Yeah, <laughs> remember that axe I bought at 27 <laughs> minutes into the run? <laughs> <laughs> upgrade! <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, um. <laughs> someone run? <laughs> run? Uh-oh. Someone run? Thank okay. you. <laughs> Jeez, that was close. I know. <laughs> Let's heal a little bit. What do you say? We got a little ways to go before I get to anywhere else. Little Lightning Kyle. I haven't gotten any better healing spells yet. I've got $10 from Anonymous. Just says, great work, guys, and a great cause. Keep it up. So that's one of those MP restore points. You've seen me go like past three of them the entire game. <laughs> There's not many of them, but they're there. Yeah. So what we do is uh, we get through the cave, and the guy, the old man, alone at the end of the cave says, you need to go to this town named Mark and show this crest, and he'll show you where the real Black Dragon Cave is. But in order to get there, which is on the other side of the frontier, we have to go through this town. This town is a mining town for Galleon, and his crazy contraptions and I guess we can do some story time now so with the big uh, well I guess about an hour ago at this point um, if you actually enter re-enter Berg you basically see that the town is completely empty not even water not even water 
Um. <laughs> <laughs> they literally took everything. <laughs> But uh, what, en what actually has happened is th uh, the entire village has been kidnapped and brought here to work in the mines, including uh, Alex's parents. So when High Spirit says, hey, we're going to have a family reunion, <laughs> he literally means we're going to have a family reunion. Yeah, I'm going to be a good son. <laughs> well, we're at the point of the game where it, you're, you're almost never going to run first from every any enemy. Uh, in this dungeon, the encounter we want to see is two tanks. Not one, not zero. Two. Tanks are slow and they allow me to run away, but there's a lot of formations with one tank and other enemies. And other enemies are not slow. <laughs> so it doesn't really help me out a whole lot. Yeah, also interesting is if you actually scour a bunch of the treasure chests in this area, you find out there are things like m rations and, and meals, and I don't think you can even use them for anything. Dirty rags, too. <laughs> dirty rags, yes, I forgot about the dirty rags. See, one tank. <laughs> But basically, every treasure chest in this area is completely useless. Oh, it makes sense. Why would you give the prisoners, you know, like, oh, we're going to give you guys a sword, but, but you know? Why, All you have to do is open that. stuff in treasure chests? Just get to that <laughs> chest, and you can break free because there's a key in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, now your life is so horrible that you have to feel better about yourself by putting food in a treasure chest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to put your food somewhere so it doesn't get dirty while you're working. You know, mining is hard work. <laughs> They aren't treasure chests anymore. They're lunch boxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. It's like every other JRPG. We're going to put the key to it to, to help the prisoners escape just two floors away. Oh, yeah. By the way, ready for family reunion? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, guys. They just got rags behind them. Probably their clothes. <laughs> Probably their uh, laundry bin. I'm such a good son. <laughs> Blame Nash. He's the one in front. <laughs> He's the leader. He's the one that told me not to do it. <laughs> so I just want to take a second and uh, plug a little bit of uh, Nami's work if we got time. You so, got uh, about a minute at most. All right. So one of their focuses is on awareness. NAMI participates in nationwide awareness opportunities like Mental Health Month, Suicide Prevention Month, and Mental Illness Awareness Week. NAMI has partnerships with a wide range of companies and organizations, for example, Fox Sports and Google, that NAMI uses to get their name and mission in front of new audiences. Okay. Lots of healing. Not common. Uh, so yeah. we're coming up on a double boss fight. And this is the this is a place where we really want Nash's Thunder Thumper to work. On the second fight. Yes. First fight, you know. You know. Yeah, but on the second fight, definitely we want it to work. Okay, let's make sure you're at full health. You are. Order this time though. Unfortunately, we can't let him be the hero this time. <laughs> so this actually can be a little dangerous. The first fight is mostly scripted, except for the fact that. I want a Dragon Bolt before all of the three enemies go. So we're... Oh, wait. Dragon Tear before the three enemies go. The big guy, he's always going to go first. But the other ones, we don't want the little ones adding more damage. Well, so much for that. <laughs> they attack Kyle, too. That's fine. So welcome to Alex's as he slowly starts to get overpowered spells, but they're not overpowered yet. We haven't got to Quake. <laughs> That's the next spell we get. Yeah, they're very creative too. They're, they all have dragon in the name of it. <laughs> the animation for that one is particularly wonderful as the dragon goes cascading across the screen and then you just get the little teeny tiny icicles. <laughs> yeah. So this fight, there is a reason why it's a little scary, and that's because I'm actually not going to kill this guy this turn. I'm going to kill him next turn, which means he's going to get an attack off on Alex. And this is two boss fights in a row, so uh, we're going to go into the next boss fight with Alex not at full health, or even close to it. Also, levels. <laughs> just a few. We need a little luck. We want Kyle to go first. That's all we want. <laughs> Kyle, just go first. Or, or just make sure, you know, Alex goes and also, and both of you go, you know. We want sidestep. Oh, uh, I changed up my, oops, I changed up my party order, so... 
so it kind of messed things up. Okay, as long as Kyle's up there, I'm happy. Yeah, sidestep is actually going to allow him to dodge a little bit. A little bit. It helps on occasion. I probably should have did Thumper. It's actually kind of dangerous that I didn't do Thumper there. Oops. I always get a heart attack when I hear the music stop. So hopefully he doesn't kill Kyle here. Or at least knocks him out of the way and splits the damage, but I need it to heal first. Come on, heal. Oh, okay, that's that, that works. Because this guy only moves in straight lines. So once he moved uh, Alex out of the way, he was only going to go after Kyle. And hopefully Thumper works here. Yeah. You only have so much magic to work with. But this is our main tactic for the rest of the game. Use magic and then using the AI glitch have Alex get extra attacks in. He's thumpered, which is great. So I think I'm going to remove or stop doing thumper now and just deal damage. Because he doesn't have a lot of health. He has no health either. <laughs> all those levels. And all those spells we're never going to see. I'm gaining like three to four levels every boss encounter. <laughs> I mean, I'm just so far under level. Coming up soon is the heart attack part of the, uh, the run for me. Oh, still not the worst. <laughs> the reason why we caused Vulich so many headaches <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Love you, Vulajin, if you're over there. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you're not. Okay, so we're going to have to explain something coming up here. Um, this game is prone <laughs> to soft locks. Uh, from my knowledge, it's not completely tested, including what we're doing today. Um, it's something that kind of came up recently. The, this, the Sega CD, there's two models of the Sega CD. The one that's more po common because it's still around often is the set model two. And it seems to have a problem reading certain audio files. Uh, and Lunar has one song in it that's that audio file. And it's the big bad boss music that you hear only a couple times in the run. And uh, well, the Black Dragon Caver in. And guess who's the first one in the game who gets that lovely music? <laughs> <laughs> and so, but what happens is the game just fails to loop the music in combat and it stalls everything out. It can no longer load anything else. And even, you know, like, the fight will continue. Like, you can continue the fight. You can even kill the boss. But the, you won't win because it can't load anything else. <laughs> yeah, you'll never get out of the battle screen. Yeah. So, we did, I did some testing. I finally got, thanks to Shen Talk, or a shout out. You might see him do some Magic Knight Ray Earth uh, sometime in the near future. <laughs> And uh, he, he brought his Model 1, which is the first time I ever got to test it on it. And it's so far so good. We're going to hope it stays that way. <laughs> no, not, I have no wood here. I'd be knocking on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> but Black Dragon and the final boss fight are the two softlock points. Long as we don't softlock everything... I, I sleep good and <laughs> I'm happy. I think the one big worry I've had the last two weeks is trying to prevent this soft lock from happening. And this is the best we've got so far. So good programming. There's actually a third soft lock point that has nothing to do with the model. and But that was earlier in the game when we were farming the giant root. But that's a rare uh, occurrence and it just happens because the game. Look, there's the old man. Yeah, there's the old man. See, we're on the other side now. <laughs> <laughs> this room has the one treasure chest that we will go out of our way to get in the entire game. Uh, it is the best armor for Kyle. <laughs> and yeah, this is, usually you're supposed to go down there and it takes you to the exit, but we want to go all the way to the other side. Yeah, it's really a shame that there's no way to avoid this. I mean, you could, but it just makes the, uh, the, the the game much harder. Yeah. Like, especially... The Black Jagged, not only do you have to worry about soft locks, he's also the single heart... Uh, handily, the hardest boss fight in the game. Yes. <laughs> Easily. Well, we got a minute here if you're uh, if you're lonely over there, Grimora. 
All right, I'm excited because this is a pretty good one. It's from Big Fong Balls. He sends us twenty dollars and Who? says, Who? <laughs> <laughs> "Big Fong never, Balls." Never heard of. Never him. heard yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, I know. The stranger. <laughs> I, I, but he he seems pretty excited. He says, "Check these heroes on the couch." <laughs> Shoutouts to Moon Brethren. Moon Bros. <laughs> He's uh, one of my uh, Twitch family, basically, the Moon Bros. You just saw someone earlier, Jenya is one of them, and uh, someone you'll see soon, uh, Magus, is another one. We, we, There's going to be five of us Moon Bros here this year. Once Big finally gets off his butt and gets here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll shout out the Rip Runners, too, you know, like Ryu Quetzalcoatl, <laughs> Yagamoth. Brought background guy, those guys. We do so much bad things to them, but we still love them. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think most of them are asleep, so I don't have to worry about them hearing this. Shh. <laughs> this is between us. Well, Yakumat's run later on is fairly late, so I imagine he's going to want to get as much sleep as he can. <laughs> You notice how Kyle is not taking a single point of damage? <laughs> no, I picked up a chest earlier. It was an herb of Althena. I pick it up for the sole purpose of healing <laughs> after I get to the Black Dragon. Uh, because you take a lot of damage and healing is slow. And I finally get a, a free herb just laying around that I can use to, to heal myself. Instead of slowly casting five, six calm uh, litanies. Yeah, the Herb of Althena is super nice. It just restores your entire party's health all at once. And it works in and out of combat. It does. Oh, so we're coming up on the big guy. For the big guy here, I am going to actually remove my AI. Because I don't want my party running in and dying uh, extremely fast. Insane armor. Uh, you still have an herb on you. That's kind of useful. Oh, wait, yeah. Saint close. Use this. I think we're good. Audio glitch. It's kind of a cool cutscene. Kind it of a cool is. looking boss. It is. And then there's the cutscene after it is great. <laughs> is is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> How will we know this soft locks? <laughs> I'll find out very fast. Not right away, but I'll know right away when it's soft locks. No, no, no. We don't want the soft locks. No soft locks. No soft. If there's going to be a soft sloth lock, it happens on this boss, not the last boss. <laughs> <coughs> but he is legitimately a hard fight. He can do. The problem with him is his double attacks. They hit so hard. I, I don't want him to double attack, is what I don't want to see. Yeah, which is another reason we don't want anybody rushing headlong into battle here. And I'm doing sidestep because every dodge is extremely useful. Yeah, he has Kyle, a lot of health and he hurts. Yeah, Kyle has a pretty good chance of dodging here, though. Now, double attacks are fine as long as he alternates who he's attacking. Like, if he goes first, if Kyle goes first here and runs in there and takes, oh, and Jessica heals first and literally the worst turn order I can get. Okay. Soft lock one prevented. Okay, that's a single attack. And he missed. As I said, Kyle has a pretty good chance to dodge here. Uh, so we got past soft lock potential number one. No, we need Kyle Alex to get in there. Nope, double attack on Kyle. Because Alex was slow. No, this is a problem because if I don't heal first, Kyle's gonna die. Not that it's absolutely the end of the run, but it, it it's annoying and it does slow down the fight, of course. Come on, heal. Don't go heal, 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 heal. No, it didn't heal. Oh, oh wow. wow. That low Four damage HP. roll. Wow. <sighs> that was such a low damage roll. Man, you and this luck today. <laughs> also, we survived soft lock part two. I, well, my luck is not very well because he's doing double attacks every turn. He is, but at least he's splitting the damage. That's what we want. So I'm not, I have an Herb of Althena I can use. I really don't want to use it in this fight unless it's an emergency. And we haven't got to emergency yet. Single, nice. 
Yeah, the thing about this boss is he always knocks back when he hits. That's the good thing about him. Yeah. Now some bad news. Kyle doesn't hit, is gonna die to a one hit again. <laughs> Although the dragon is he's almost dead, so. Ooh, maybe Alex will take a double. Uh, I wish you would have. Okay. Hey, wow. Hey, we're done anyway. Yeah. See, that was a lot of close. Whoos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a cutscene here. Very impressive, Alex. You just killed the only remaining means of becoming a dragon master. <laughs> You're making this way too easy. Now the goddess is completely unprotected. She's mine to control. The world is my oyster. <laughs> Again, laughing and <laughs> running away. <laughs> That's so, that's so amazing. Just laughing maniacally while running away. <laughs> that that absolutely makes the best cutscenes. Also, he has this thing about using oysters or clamshells in every uh, lunar game. And something about sending in clowns. He likes clowns. <laughs> that's one of the best lines. Send in the clowns. <laughs> no, a, a galleon. <laughs> yes, galleon. <laughs> he says that the PlayStation. He's like, sorry, it's no, no. Galleon, Galleon no. no. Magic Dick Emperor Galleon, Galleon yes! <laughs> <laughs> so we get the OP armor. And Dragon Quake, which is the first OP spell in the game. Yeah, so Alex with that armor is like one damage every Sorry, time Nash, now. your job is now uh, uh, <laughs> is now done. You served it mostly well. <laughs> you can now stay alive a little bit more in the back row. You're still gonna perish a lot, but you'll stay alive <laughs> a lot more, I said. <laughs> okay, put my dragon armor on, AI on. Look at all these spells I've gotten since I cla last cast that Psychotron, <laughs> outside of, you know, these two. Spells just, once you get to like the 20s, the spells just keep coming. And they're look just slightly better than the one previous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nash literally has those thunder attacks. It's like one, two, three. Yeah, his are numbered, okay? <laughs> he doesn't even get new names. He just gets a number. <laughs> so we come back to here because, well, Galleon kind of ran off laughing than I, luckily. And uh, we're lazy, so we're going to teleport to the edge of town because walking is... Too overrated. hard. Yeah. And yeah, so we what we need is we need to find out where he's staying. Where 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 he's building that big contraction tr contraption my uh, my parents are currently mining for. And uh, it's in a place called Ruid, which is all the way over here. So we talk to the sage there who gives us the key to get into Ruid. <laughs> Just randomly has the key <laughs> to get into Ruid on him. It was uh, in the treasure chest. I found it in the trash <laughs> one day, you know? <laughs> Someone apparently didn't need it because they didn't want to get in there anymore, so they threw it away, and we went and grabbed it out. And you'll notice uh, Alex is now taking one damage. <laughs> OP armor. There's, uh, for the next little chunk of the game, he doesn't take a lot of damage from most enemies. Now, we talk early, talked earlier about uh, why the Vile Tribe hates... Um, the goddess Althena, because they think she forsaken them to this land, to this dying land. Because, you know, there's not a lot of trees, there's not a lot of grass. The water's yellow. The water's yellow. I like to think that they might have done it to themselves. Dang, that is such an interrupt. I had such a good timing for this. And this encounter comes up one step before I enter. <laughs> like, I had that perfectly set up. <laughs> now you'll know, makes me wonder if they did it to themselves. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the colors on the place, though. It's a, such a lovely <laughs> shade of purple, green, and red to, to, <laughs> to, to, uh, to co coat my smog plant with. All the best machinery is green and purple. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to notice something strange here. I'm going to open this door, and then I'm going to wiggle going through it. <laughs> there's a reason why. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> no. But the a reason, reason must <laughs> exist. <laughs> there's two times. So what I think it is, there's two times in this game where you um, you use an item in the world map and it removes the uh, object out of play. One being the rock at the beginning and one being that door. Uh, and a, a, you can't actually walk straight through that door after you uh, you open it. 
it's it makes me wonder that until you take a step the uh, the objects although they've disappeared their hitbox is still active so you have to take one step in order for the game to actually remove the hitbox so that's why uh it looks like i did a, i had to do a little wiggle before i could go through the door because the door was actually technically still there and i bounced off the door <laughs> but the door wasn't there because we removed it that previous room is also the room I think you bounce off the most walls. <laughs> that room is where you wish you had diagonals. <laughs> they got to that room and they're like, we, sh we really should put diagonal. Nah, <laughs> we don't need diagonal in the game. <laughs> this dungeon is pretty nice. It's uh, it's technically a left-right dungeon. It is. But you have to just go in wide circles this time. So, you know, you got a minute over there if you're cool. All right. I've got uh, one donation here from WaddlePop8, $20. Pumped as always for my favorite speedrun event of the year. Put this towards naming the rival in Crystal Ixarian. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, now we got enemies that do triple attacks for one damage. <laughs> <Look at Alex. laughs> Everyone else dies, but Alex, nah, he's he's a tank. That is the true job of the Dragon Master, to be the tank. Now look at that tank with the axe on it. That has got to be the most useless axe ever. What does he do, run up to someone and just stop and then, like, chop? <laughs> just run him over, you're a tank! <laughs> the tank's just trying to diversify a little bit. Give it a break. <laughs> he's like battle bots. Yeah, why is that there? Trust me, it will take the other battle bots out. <laughs> How? I don't know, but it will. Okay, so you need to equip that. You need to equip that. Kyle is mostly the one that's injured right now. So we got a boss coming up. Not too difficult, but it can get a trolley if, uh, if Thumper decides to not work. Yeah. Okay, uh... The unfortunate thing, of course, too, is there's, like, absolutely no indication until the following round that the thumper has actually worked. Okay, we need one more comp. Like, some people would say, oh, the, the animation stops, but it always, it always stops, stops in between. Yeah. The game can't load animations and the menu at the same time. Right. I guess. This is Tabin. Hi, Tabin. He is, like, a genius inventor like Might, except for he's evil and works for Galleon. And he made Galleon's ultimate machine, which we'll get to see soon, but first we gotta... Take care of these guys. So like Dragon Quake. Sidestep. Thumper. Come. D protect. These guys do a lot of damage to Kyle. They don't do a lot to Alex. They also can do single or double attacks. So remember our last spell did like 220, 260 damage? These one this does closer to 400. Yes, now we're getting into the very nice OP spells. And now we're going to keep our fingers crossed that Thunder Thumper works here. Or I get my Herb of Eldeen off. Yeah, oh, I don't, Yeah, I don't have enough magic. Dang, that sucks. So that's one of the reasons uh, of being, be wishing you had a little more levels. Because then I would have uh, been able to pull off a second Dragon Quake if I was one level higher. But I wasn't, so I have to go one tier below. And instead of doing 400 damage to these guys, I'm now doing 250 damage. <laughs> Slight difference in damage. Not by much, but just a little. You know what? We'll just be done with the thumpers. And then the last spell we get, Holy Light, doesn't do much more than uh, Quake. Just does a little bit more. Nash does good damage here, by the way. He actually does like 70, 75 damage. That's the Thundershot one? Yeah, that's just one. <laughs> he gets two also. <laughs> but they're going to start to slowly die. Although I didn't get double quakes, so they're not as low as I'd like them to be. Yeah, but with one gone, and the fight becomes a little safer, yeah. of course. Well, that's why I started doing Thundershot early, because I, knew I wanted to catch up on... That damage right there just caught up on one Quake that I had to do. And I throw in a little Waterfall. 
Which doesn't look like a waterfall. It looks like something spinning around. <laughs> that like, is also one of the other nice things about this game, if you notice. Uh, when High Spirit selects one of the magic spells, it's automatically at the top for the next round. There's another shot, too. <laughs> Uh-oh. The grindery has been set loose. Dun, dun, dun. Let's hurry up and go see it. As we wind our way back down to the bottom floor. <laughs> you think if you're in a hurry, you just teleport out, but... You're not allowed to use the dragon wings in here. We're just giving them enough time to steamroll mom and dad, that's all. <laughs> They're safe, don't worry. <laughs> we, t we actually rescued the people in the mines when we went through it, believe it or not. It didn't look like it, but we actually did. <laughs> We just did it like in a passive way. We just didn't say stop and tell mom and dad what we were that we were saving them. At least the clinking in the background makes sense yeah, in here. It finally <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the grindery has been in every dungeon all along. The grindery in our hearts. We're getting one tank as not two. <laughs> It's alright, as long as they keep, keep, keep wailing on he Alex. Wants, he just wants to use his axe. Go, what's wrong with that? Such a nice axe. <laughs> <laughs> I got another donation at the first time. Sure. Axe right. away. Alright. 25 from Anonymous. Good morning, High Spirits. Hope you and all the other runners have enjoyed the marathon just far. I've never donated to any marathon in the past, but being able to show support for you as you play a game from the Lunar Series seems like a good place to start. Thank you. Good luck with the rest of the run, and continued good luck to the rest of the runners later in a week. Oh, and put this towards High Spirit's choice. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> Dance, dance, dance. Shake, shake, shake. So yeah, they make you walk out because they really don't want you to miss what happened. But the problem is nothing happened here. What really happened is back in the tail and mines. <laughs> All you're going to go is you go outside and you realize a giant machine called the Grindery is, has been let loose to destroy the world. The vehicle of oppression. <laughs> the Death Star. Which means there's obviously a flaw somewhere. A very minor one, just big enough for us to walk into. Well, that's all we need. After we basically run into it face first and realize that that doesn't work. So you're going to see that Talon Mine has had a little bit of remodeling coming up. It used to be a nice mining town. <laughs> 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 now it's a skid mark. <laughs> Uh-oh. The grinder. The pol biggest pollution machine ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually steam really coming out of its feet. There's no exhaust pipe. It's just like <laughs> kicking out its feet. And we might see someone familiar that we haven't talked about again in like 45 minutes. Hi, Luna. <laughs> Turn your pure light to blazing fire and decimate all who oppose me. So funny story. Uh, Luna is actually the goddess Althena. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's, oh yeah, Rip Vane too. Bye. <laughs> too bad Nash wasn't on it when it happened. <laughs> uh, so as the story goes, uh, the goddess Althena has this philosophy. You know, she's the god. Oh yeah, you run into the grindery and pass out for a week. Going head first into a giant <laughs> machine is not the smart way to do it. Just going to point that out. <laughs> but hey, we sleep for a week now. <laughs> so uh, the guys at Aldina has this philosophy. They don't go into much in this version, but they go through it through the ethos and a lot of other versions. Uh, where she doesn't believe one person should rule all humanity. She believes everyone should have that power to do that. So she always, every generation, is reborn into a human. And uh, lets the humans uh, rule the world while she just plays as a human and watches from the sideline, not even realizing she's the goddess. And uh, in this case, she got caught. <laughs> Galleon found her out because Galleon, because since she was the goddess and the dragons work for the goddess, and so he basically worked with the goddess because of dying, Dragon Master dying, you know, 
six degrees of bacon, Kevin Bacon or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he knew the goddess, but he didn't know where the goddess was. And th actually, this game does a bad job telling you that he already knew she was human. Uh, the remakes do a better job telling you that. So now that he, you know, knew that Luna was there, he just there the uh, goddess was there. He just had to find her, and he found her. And now Vane is beachfront property. <laughs> okay, so we we uh, a week later we got to cheer up our party because you know the world's getting destroyed and there's Lake and he's like, hey, I need to talk to you about something and we'll just you know we'll be back in a minute. We gotta pay your old friend a visit. This is the best shopping trip of the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your ears be, be worn soon. I'll just warn you. No. Yeah. Okay. So first, we're going to... Uh, oh, you have nothing on you. We have anything that we really don't care to want anymore. I have an extra Cascade ring. So we're going to sell everything. Oh, so this uh, Ramus, you know, this is actually smart. He knows the world is getting destroyed. So he decides, hey, I'm going to sell you all of my stuff for free. Sell the prison key. If you sell the oh yeah, so if you sell the prison key, which is a key item, it actually gets rid of the prison key. So it's one more inventory spot. And then ears incoming. <laughs> so yeah, he, he gives everything in his shop for a zero, and then we sell it back for money. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the thing is, though, is because he's got herbs of Althena, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what the heck do we need all that money for? Wait, one more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free herbs of Althena. We don't need money. The lag. Yeah, so we bought a bunch. We got all this money, but even though we got all these free <laughs> herbs, I mean, uh, what are we going to use this money for? Oops, I put... There you go. Thank you. Oh, I should have equipped this. Uh, so we're going to go to Riza. I can wait till a little bit. Well, we got herbs of Althena. You know, we're almost... We're getting to the end game here. Ish. Uh, <laughs> and, well, you know, healing is nice, but you've seen all that magic I'm using, right? It'd be nice if we had some, you know, magic restoring items, or <laughs> I probably should not have wasted those seeds of vigor on little bosses. Thankfully, there's a shop down here that sells them, and they're very expensive, but thankfully, we just made a good investment. Also, <laughs> ears. But yeah, the seeds of vigor in this game are essentially what silver lights are in all the other ones. Sure. Try to look at how many I have. Okay, inventory filled. We're ready for the end game. We have one problem remaining. We're not quite a dragon master yet. We're missing one important piece. And that's our sword. <laughs> you know, because we've been using axes and Dine's sword, and I don't think Dine's gonna appreciate, you know, me using his <laughs> <a> sword. <laughs> so guess who's ready with my airship? Just in time. Except we're not going to go to the front here. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I know. Dying was dying to give me that sword. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, more sweet funky tunes incoming. Alex, you'll be mine. So we come and we fight, and but dying. Yeah, by the way, this game doesn't really tell you that Blake is actually dying. He didn't die, he just lost his powers. But now, guess what happened to Dine? <laughs> <laughs> he died. <laughs> but he saves us, lets us out, and we take the airship to the uh, Althena's Fortress. Remember that really tall one on the rocks that no one could ever reach? Uh, we got an airship, so we can get there. There's one problem. We're let Jessica fly. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think we learn by now, but we, we never learn. All these remakes, they never learn. Nice. That was some sort of like 90s anime right there. <laughs> <laughs> so she crashed the ship. Thankfully, she still landed on it. So we didn't have to go very far. Look at that mangled mess. <laughs> I mean, when she crashed it, she crashed it. <laughs> <laughs> so this dungeon is uh, very similar to the uh, Althena's Tower in pretty much every other lunar game, even two. 
uh, where it's it's the four co pillars, and you just have to go up the pillars in the right order. This is the encounter to get, by the way. Yeah, those those golden heads are a major pain in the butt. Yeah, the gold heads always go first. They move very far, so they attack. The spearmen don't move very far, but they fast. So as long as they don't spawn on top of you, they take like one step and their turn is done. And those are the only two enemies you're going to get in here. But this place does, uh, I mean, you can see already, it has a pretty high encounter rate. <laughs> this game has one of the most variable uh, encounter rates I've ever seen. <laughs> I've I've gone for I've gone the 42 second loop before to to loop the music in one dungeon and not get an encounter, but there's actually a, a, a spot in the RNG in the in the in the game's memory which calls for three steps on three encounters. Yep. And you will yep. get one on every run. It's just a matter of when you get to where it is in memory. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you get to it more than once depending where you started. <laughs> this is a lot of damage already. Yeah, you've run into a lot of those golden heads. <laughs> yeah, and I know. A here's lot. more. <laughs> like Alex is already out of health. Remember that he was a tank. He took no damage. Well, he takes a little now. Might actually have to be careful and heal soon. I still have a th few more rooms to go through. See another point why they should have just programmed that diagonal for you. Like, boink, boink. <laughs> <laughs> Said I'm just going to hug the wall. That looks like a nice wall. Boink, 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 boink. There it is. See, this is a good battle. They got two left feet. That's why they only take one step. Okay, we're at the end. <laughs> so this is where we need to fight to become a Dragon Master. A real one. And there is a little bit of luck involved. Oh, I already used that, so... So we need to have two of each in order to pull this off. And uh, AI, we want off. I said off, not both, uh, not on off. So there is a chance I can die here. It really comes down to um, how nice they are. They have either a physical attack or a ranged attack. And doing ranged attacks every turn is what gets me in trouble. So one of them did it, one of them didn't. Like right there, that's brilliant. I've almost already have enough to be win the fight. It takes on average five dragon quakes to kill him. And wow. <laughs> that was nice. Look at that, two turns in a row with uh no with no uh, ranged attacks. Um two thousand nine. Well if he keeps doing over fifty, that's bad. Well the rate the range does less, so if he does range. Oh wow, I got bad damage. Never rolls. mind. Still in good shape. Or don't don't high damage roll me. Oh. Wow. Calculated, wow. calculated. <laughs> you, you see, that was a proper bureaucrat. I left <laughs> nothing to waste. <laughs> that was 100% intended. <laughs> I mean, I could have healed before that. I had the room. So uh, I have the room here. Usually, this is not guaranteed to kill him. It almost always does. Like, it's like 95% chance of killing him. And, yay, we get to hear a familiar voice and become a Dragon Master. Oh, by the way, Nal's the white, the son of, of Quark. They don't tell you that very well in this game. They tell you pretty well in every other game, just not in this one. But he's actually not a rat. He's a dragon. You are indeed a brave one. So be my voice actors. It had to be someone. <laughs> Step forward and become your destiny, Dragon Master Eric. Woohoo! Gives you chills, doesn't it? Absolutely. And, and I learned the best spell in the game. Holy light! Okay, now now that we're in a hurry to stop Galleon, let's just walk out. Okay, so we need to have you, you, you. <laughs> Now, in order to enter the grindery, this is the fun one of the fun parts of the game. You have to have all of your Dragon Master gear equipped. Otherwise, you bounce off again. <laughs> and then you get, like, a sad music cutscene <laughs> for, like, 15 seconds. And then you, you're supposed to feel bad and learn your lesson. <laughs> so, you put on all your Dragon Master gear. Great. Why did I still get knocked out of the grindery? Wait, you got to equip the Dragon Wings also? <laughs> 
technically the dragon wings are part of the dragon master gear although they're not and the game forces you to equip the wings or you're just going to get another headache the sad music is kind of nice though it's like <laughs> <laughs> Or sorry, in the case of this one, la 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 <laughs> la la. <laughs> yeah, we do have the serious lack of la la la's in this game. Yeah, they fix it in every other game. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar two, Lunar one remakes. Yeah, but in Lunar two, it's 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 more like wah 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 wah. <laughs> That's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Howard the Duck is in Lunar 2. Super. X, sorry. <laughs> Lunar the, Howard the Duck is in Lunar 1 PlayStation. It's Nash when he puts on that, that yellow uh, contraption. Because he looks exactly like Howard the Duck. <laughs> Why did you have to bring Howard the Duck into this? <laughs> You're the one who quacked. <laughs> Why did you have to quack? I didn't. I just quack. wanted a la la. I just wanted a nice song. <laughs> I blame the children in Lunar 2 that sing the horrible song. La 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 la. <laughs> okay, all the equipment set up. Order one, two, three, one, one, two. See, I got fancy armor now. I look cool. <laughs> this is the part of the game where you figure out were you bad or were you not bad. Depending on the size of the headache you're about to get. Unusually long load scene. Don't try Ace on me. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no sad music, so we win. Okay, so the grindery is actually technically two dungeons. The first one is what you would do in a early 90s RPG in order to make and prolong the game um, unnecessarily. <laughs> and that is uh, several rooms of windy mazes all compacted with two just to make it last longer. Just like all of the dungeons in this game. <laughs> Pretty much. Bye, Nash. See, we didn't forget about you, Nash. So this even trips me up sometimes because there's not a lot of visual cues to get through this dungeon. Um, and at least only half of the floors are like this. <laughs> the other half are much easier mazes to get through. And you got pounding of metal, so it makes sense. It does. Okay, I think we want to go left here. Hey, not bad. Got through the first room just fine. Oh, we're not through it yet, but that's the hard part. <laughs> Now, you can imagine when there's a bad encounter rate how this feels. Now we got propellers. <laughs> Apparently the grindery's starting to take <laughs> off. <laughs> you gotta stop it before it actually flies to the moon and starts destroying things. Do we have a quick minute for me to plug our artist? <laughs> Oops. I'm going in mazes right now. Feel free. All right. Lots and lots of mazes. So let's give some love to our community artists, especially LLK, Carrie Fry, and Mega Weasel, who are responsible for many of the emotes that you gain access to by subscribing to the channel. All revenue from subs and the ads that we run will go to help us run future RPG LB marathons. But fret not, 100% of all donations go straight to NAMI. I hope you're not fretting. I wasn't until now. I got through <laughs> one room by the time you finished that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is technically the second room of the gr of the tube section, but it's really the half because you're going to do this in two halves. We go through half of it, then we go through another one, then we come back and do the other half because, you know, how long can we make these dungeons? <laughs> like the other exit, by the way, is like just off the screen there. We just took all that time to go loop around. <laughs> And then they throw a trick door in there to throw you off. The yeah. dastardly fiends. Well, it wouldn't be amazing without one thing that you want to take beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was learning this, I got some notes from Holy Smith, and he drew the map wrong in this room. Yeah, he was telling me about that, and he's like, yeah, I fixed it now, but... <laughs> but it's still wrong in the notes. <laughs> yeah, it's still wrong in the notes. <laughs> he has you going down, around, coming up, <laughs> instead of just going up here. Sorry, I had to call you out there, Holy. 
two rooms left before we're done with the grindery part. At least we didn't get an insane encounter, right? That's kind of nice. <laughs> I mean, it could be a lot worse right now. Yeah, I've had lots of runs where it's just, it feels like you're in this forever just because. Yeah, because you take three steps and you get like eight and ten encounters. Yeah, in one exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really disorienting too, because when you're trying to go through a maze like this where you actually got to focus on your, where you're going and you just take three steps and it's always an encounter, it's kind of tricky to like na remember where you are in the maze. And or, you just get yourself crossed up. Or you just make, you know, some really stupid mistake, like somebody accidentally using their amulet instead of re-equipping it. <laughs> Thankfully, I've done that before this dungeon, so I can rebuy it. <laughs> but I may have done that before. Because the amulet, you can equip it or you can use it, and it, using it gets rid of encounters, but it does not last long. No, it does not. <laughs> it lasts for a handful of steps. Okay, so we're almost up to the first boss of the grindery. They are basically an enemy that's not hard, but there's four of them and they have as much health as the final boss. Which makes total sense. Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> thankfully, we use all AoE magic, so it works out great. I love how the guys are like, well, we can't kill Alex. We might as well just fly around him <laughs> and kill everyone else <laughs> that dies in one hit. <laughs> Okay, fire elementals. First, I could do something I know I was going to forget to do. <laughs> I was like, don't do that. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> don't really have to save for this one, but I'm in the habit of just saving before every fight. Ooh, audio glitch, because you can hear it's still going. See? <laughs> <laughs> Thundershot 2, nice. I don't need to. Oh, wait. Oh, I should have done that. So you'll notice my MP total is 239. Holy Light costs 120. <laughs> which means I have to do Holy Light Quake. Which isn't horrible because Quake is, is comparable in strength to Holy Light. It's the difference is when you had to do Tear and Quake and you lost 150 damage every time. I hate those long pauses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I know it's not going to solve lock here because it's the, this audio file is fine. But it's just it's ingrained in my head now. When you've been through so many soft locks, it's just every time the music stops, you just hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think each of these flames have around 3,000 health each. They don't do any damage to Alex, of course. No, but they, they take a nice bite out of Kyle. <laughs> also, you don't like to do this attack because it hits everything. <laughs> so you have to watch the animation as it hits everything. Look at that sexy thunder shot, too. In this game, you're really lamenting for uh, some kind of attack for Kyle, some, something besides sidestep. <laughs> he does. He gets Kai sliced. He which, does. Which but, raises his attack power. But it's so late in the game. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it from this fight, most likely. Unless he dies, but he shouldn't die. Because I have herbs of Elthina. If I'm in trouble, I got 50 of these things. I think I could be <laughs> nice and throw you one. Actually, we'll use a lot of those herbs and Seed of Vigors um, and, uh, when we get to the uh, end of the fight. Or by the end of the game. Anyway, you know what? Uh, waterfall, don't spill it. Spill attack steals magic. <laughs> Not useful. For someone who still has 193 magic <laughs> and the boss is getting close to dying. She doesn't do any damage because she doesn't have ice wall yet. That's what sucks. I love those random sound effects. It's like, where did that one come from? I've never seen someone die so spectacularly before. I guess, you know what? You can just flee. You're not being helpful. Yeah, 
That guy's angry. Look at him. He's like, I'm not going to eat you now. <laughs> <laughs> you dare hit me. <laughs> we really made that one angry. <laughs> Ice wall blizzard. Nice. So blizzard was the spell I was hoping I was getting. Because then we can play a mini game. Who is more useful, Mia or Nash? <laughs> How is that even a game? Well, Nash's use in death is help. So, so, so we got to fight three random encounters here. And... We're going to play a game. Who gets their spell off first? <laughs> is it Thundershot 2 or is it Blizzard? Take your bets. It's the best <laughs> of three. <laughs> Nash wins the first round. Although he can't do it three times, so he can't go 3-0. and Because oh, I, ma I don't have enough magic to let him go 3-0. and oh. There's Kai Slice. Yeah, I don't have enough magic to get him to go 3-0. and oh. he, can only, he can only win, not uh, go undefeated. Okay, round two. Is is Mia gonna bring this back? Oh wait, she's. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> well I mean, then. He lost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rig, rigged. <laughs> I looked at his magic before the spell went off, not after. So I'm like, dang. I thought he had one more use left. Oh, it's a tie game. I think it's gonna come down the stretch. <laughs> <He's gonna win. laughs> I don't know. I think Mia's got a good, a good, a good uh, chance to win this one. <laughs> of course, she's gonna go last while she's doing it. There we go. Oh, in the end, Mia wins. Okay, so after we do three, hey, Tempest and Fresca just randomly climb this tower, even though only a Dragon Master can enter it for some reason. <laughs> wow, I got a step encounter on that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, somehow only a Dragon Master can enter this place, but Fresca and Tempest, hey, how you doing, guys? We'll take care of the enemies. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> they didn't do a very good job. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that, was uh, that was a one-step random encounter. <laughs> So you're going to notice some fairies here. Actually, Gal the one thing that's redeemable about Galleon is he saved the fairies. Um, like, he brought them here and he saved them because they were being hunted to extinction. So he's a nice fairy. He's a nice guy. Totally. So who likes left, right, left, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the final, 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 final dungeon of the game. It it's is, but unfortunately we have to play fetch the key. Yeah, it's the final dungeon inside the final dungeon of the final dungeon of the game. <laughs> You know, usually you got games with the boss behind the boss behind the boss behind the boss. No, we got the dungeon behind the dungeon <laughs> behind the dungeon. <laughs> so this is where all the women who are kidnapped are hiding. So you might see a few of the girls that you've never met before because we never we never can do it. actually saved any of them from getting kidnapped. Well, except for the one on the previous floor. Yeah. Well. I think this might be a good time for some updates on the incentives. Sure, we got a couple more minutes before we do the rush, boss rush. All right. So next game is Soul Blazer, which there's the uh, bid war for the name, and currently Everhate is in the lead with 285, followed by Floor Two and has 275, and in distant third is Soul Vapor with uh, 45. So there's quite a bit of time left to uh, go ahead and get that in and. Switch it up if you want, throw some money there. And we do have an anonymous $100 donation. Nice. No comment, but thank you so much for that. This is a pretty high encounter rate, too. And our other uh, bid war for names is over in Disgaea 5 for the uh, the printies. And Megas Dude is in the lead with 110, followed by Pingu at 105. Wow, pretty close. Wow, you got so many donations, I'm shocked. Okay, final boss <laughs> rush. <laughs> Let me do a little bit of preparation and, uh, hey look, it's Luna, guess who we're gonna fight first? Yeah, we gave magic to Nash, I know. He he's, does damage on the final boss if he, <laughs> if he survives the duo. He's still more likely to survive at this point. Yeah, he is, audio glitch. Still going strong. Uh, I have an extra cascade ring still. 
So yeah, obviously this is not Luna. It's Zenobia. That is the last time you can save, by the way. Now we got a three boss rush to go. And this is <laughs> what I've been stressing over <laughs> for the last three weeks. Nothing is going to happen, okay? Nothing. The first boss is fine, okay? It's the third boss I have a problem with. So you hear the new boss music, right? Remember that? Boss music doesn't like to load, doesn't like to work. <laughs> you know what? Oop. Okay. <laughs> you know, I never would have thought you would have looked like that under all that blonde hair. I know. <laughs> Oops. I didn't quite do what I wanted to do. No, I'm not going to get my cascade ring off, but that's fine. That was just going to be gravy because... Because I had an extra one. Every time... I'm going to tell you. Every time the music pauses for the rest of the game, I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. That's a bad turn order. I'll use another one. Because Kyle wasn't gonna, Kyle's not gonna get knocked away because guess who, who decided to come up and cushion his fall? <laughs> <laughs> Zenobia doesn't actually have that much health uh, in the end of it. Like, she dies a little bit earlier than most other people. Which is interesting because that does change from version to version. Yeah. If in, Kyle dies now, there's not a problem, but... In, um, in the Game Boy version, she basically has the most health out of all of the bosses. Yeah. I'd probably die this turn. Okay, boss one down. There's lots of levels. <laughs> Did I ever tell you I'm kind of underleveled right now? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we're coming up on Galleon. I used more healing than I want to, so. <laughs> Excuse you! <laughs> Hi, Galleon. I grew up. <laughs> You've come to fight for the soul of your dear Luna, but you're too late. I'm already in control of the goddess. Face it, you don't stand, stand a, a chance, chance, dragon boy. Well, you guys heard it. We can't stand it. Let's just go home. <laughs> what are we doing here? Uh, holy lights, attack. I have an extra cascade ring still, so... It doesn't matter if I heal this first turn. You don't really need the Cascade Ring for this fight, but I gotta get rid of him. <laughs> wow, that was a bad turn order. That was a really bad turn order. And Kyle took a lot of damage. Yeah, any deaths now or soft locks is bad because I have to go back and fight Zenobi again. Burning through all the herbs. If Galleon goes first, I'd be happy. Okay. Okay. If Jessica would go first, I'd be... Thank you. <laughs> I get to be happy. Yeah, he takes a little, like, 30, 40 less damage than Kyle. <laughs> you know, for somebody who's the Magic Emperor in this version of the game, he doesn't really have a lot of magic. <laughs> no. He does do a little magic in the second fight. A little bit. But that's random if he even does any magic. Spam herbs of Elthina is what I'm going to do. He's take close a little to dying. bit longer, yeah. Yeah, he's close to dying already. But 
with the Cascade Ring, I've done a lot of extra damage. Although, that could be an issue. <laughs> Might be up to Nash to finish this. Okay, no Mia. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, we just proved Mia was more useful. <laughs> I think we already knew that. <laughs> well, yeah, it didn't take a best of three to know that. <laughs> Oops. Alex. Herb. So, the Galleon 2 is pretty much a DPS race. Also, please don't kill me. <laughs> you notice where all of my Seed of Vigors are? Not all of them, most of them. <laughs> yeah, the... Galleon can teleport in this battle, so having Mia in the back doesn't necessarily mean yeah. anything, unfortunately. And she dies to one attack. Everyone else survives an attack, not Mia. Hi, Luna. Remember when you said you loved me way back on the boat? Yeah, those were good times before you tried to destroy the world. <laughs> <laughs> She's so serious. Prepare to die. No, it's time to die. <laughs> Did she know the memes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. The memes haven't been created for the ten, for five years. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, it'd probably be like eight, eight, eight years. Yeah. Remember those dragon angels that I fought that I, that, you know, it took me five dragon quakes to kill and they gave me a, became a dragon master? I think his spell's a little stronger. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Elevator. Ding. He hit them so hard they turned into stars. Now it's serious mode, Galleon. <coughs> I'm not finished with you yet. You'll never make it out of here. No soft lock, no soft lock. No soft lock, no soft lock, no soft lock. No soft lock, no soft lock. <laughs> In fear, as I demonstrate my true power. You. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just haven't seen my true power yet. <laughs> don't make, don't make me angry, okay? <laughs> At least they only show it with the eye. They don't show it with the rest of the body. It all came out the eye. <laughs> okay, so as long as Mia doesn't die, there's no issues in this fight at all. When she dies, then we can talk about issues. Especially if she dies really early. I actually usually like Galleon to go first because then my party is not <laughs> running to the other side so he can teleport over there. Yeah. Okay, he did teleport over there. Yeah, he will eventually. But so we're he, okay for now. Yeah, he does two things. He either physical attack or he does magic and a physical attack. That's all he does. He doesn't do anything else. He teleports around. Thunder thrust. So yeah, we don't want her to die because Seed of Vigor is kind of nice. Music restart. Yes. Oh, he has less health than, uh, than the, the flame elementals. <laughs> no, actually, he has slightly more than the fl one of the flame elementals. Okay, good. Mia's still alive. <laughs> really, the only way you can lose this fight is if he decides to take out Mia and then, like, Nash in the next turn. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's absolutely the end of all your seeds of vigor. Yeah, well, not all of them. I have more on others. But what that means is Kyle has to spend every other turn not attacking, and he can go before Alex. So he might just waste turns. He really doesn't like Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> He really has something against Kyle. Did he, like, pick on one of his fairies or something? I wouldn't put it past Kyle. <laughs> Nash survives, actually, believe it or not. He actually easily survives that. Well, he's got a good deal more HP than Mia does, too. Yeah. So he's getting close to dying. We won't know for certain until he decides to start doing the flash dance. Oh, now he's dead. Because <laughs> of the healing. Oh, she's dead. 
That's fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> just means I might want to be a little safe and uh, heal with you, just in case. He doesn't do a lot of damage to Alex, so... Yeah, he's almost dead. Next turn, he'll be dead. Or this turn, if Kyle gets him, no. Yeah, you what? know when he's close to dead because he does I mean, that disappearing act? <laughs> Mia did what she was supposed to. Throw the last seed so I can kill him. By the way, it's not time for a couple minutes, so don't worry. I don't know. Should I do it? It's going to come very close to estimate if I do it. <laughs> eh, what the heck? This will be underestimate. So we, now we got to go go give a hug to our baby. Uh, uh, our dear Luna. But she doesn't look angry. Let's, you know. <laughs> Dang, she just hit me for 200. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, I don't have a lot of herbs on me. We'll see how this works. I don't have enough herbs on me. I might not be able to do this. Oh, 200 again. You know, I only have 199 <laughs> left, so obviously that's going to kill me if I uh, if I keep taking these hits. But it's all right. We'll get to her. Our love is strong. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, it's, our love is there at least. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start oh. using healing spells. <laughs> uh, hey, a, oh yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We're good. We got seeds of vigor. We can do this. <laughs> I might go overestimate just a little bit though. Oh yeah, you can't use magic. Oh well. I tried to do it, but <laughs> rip. Game over. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go overestimate, huh? Oh. Oh, by the way, that's the bad ending. You guys, <laughs> you guys donated for that, so you're going to get to see what you're supposed to do to survive to the end now. Um, so basically what happens is Luna's angry at you, and if you get close to her, I was almost there, I just ran out of shielding, and uh, she'll one-shot you. <laughs> like, she'll actually kill you in one shot. What to do is you have to play the harp to remind her that you love her. Oh, how sweet. And now, you, instead of doing 200 damage, you know, she does slightly less. <laughs> just, just a little bit. She does 1 16th of your health now. Which, if you count out the, uh, the, the lightning strikes I'm about to take, surprisingly, it's not 16. <laughs> Time is coming up shortly. Maybe right on estimate. Come on! We can get there in... <laughs> we got 16 seconds. Come we on! We got this. Run, Alex! <laughs> Run! <laughs> she, your love is awaiting you! <laughs> She's saving you to death. No, we're, we're gonna just wait, wait, wait. Wait. Wait, and. Uh, oh. Time. Oh, Two seconds it. over. <laughs> Almost. It was so close. That's like, Very I went, close. I, went, I tried to go for the fun part, but I, you know, I ran out of healings. So I couldn't even do it. Oh. Be careful, guys. You're about to see something that is truly terrifying. After this next scene where Alex jumps at her. Well, here it comes. <laughs> She's so happy to see him. Alex! <laughs> also, Alex has the best grin right here. <laughs> like, He's so happy. Now we got to get a roll call of all of the important characters in the game. Like all the important people, like Mia, Nash, Jessica, Kyle, Tempest, <laughs> Fresca. Wait. <laughs> There's a you barely see Null in that picture. You realize that? Can you pick out Null? <laughs> But Tempest and Fresca somehow get into the final picture? <laughs> yes, they are the most important. <laughs> yeah. So the credits aren't that long, and then we owe you uh, one other thing. And you know, how many voice actors are there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's all your voice actors. Um, you get some nice pictures here. Uh, Victor Ireland uh, is like the brainchild behind Working Designs. And although Working Designs doesn't exist anymore, he actually owns his own company um, that makes games you might have heard of before called Summon Night. Um, so, you know, it's, it's nice that he did, he did this stuff and then he moved in, you know, to, to do Summit Night, uh, series. I think they just released their sixth game or something. Um, look how cute Jessica is. Aww. 
She's still she's aging every picture. She's <laughs> <laughs> just getting older and older. <laughs> well, did you see how old Mia looked in the By the way, Mr. One? Tom, you know. They got all these like <laughs> Japanese names and then Mr. Tom is in there. <laughs> Mia's like, I'm your teacher, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> And you. But, oops, we almost forgot. Wheaties is a registered <laughs> trademark. <laughs> <laughs> this run, what's it by Wheaties? <laughs> it was used with permission, though. Remember that. <laughs> Poor Dine. Bye, Dine. And then you got the little thing here. Where, oops. Too long. Too long. You gotta wait for the end part. And then I'll go uh, get ready for the song. <laughs> you guys ready to hear something really true <laughs> or fun? <laughs> It's okay. We can all guarantee we will never be kidnapped by the vile tribe. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and... Oops. Too long. I did go over <laughs> estimates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess I need to go get our lyrics for everyone, just in case. Uh, you want to hold on this so I don't set it down? I sure can. I think there's supposed to be someone else joining us. Where, Where did he, he go? Hiding? Did he run out of here already? <laughs> oh, Mana! You're not getting out of here that easy. He's playing golf. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're all standing for this one, you know. You got to get our singing voices on. <laughs> our big boy voices. <laughs> big boy and girl voices. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so there is an opening song to this game. Uh, you might have heard it when we were setting things up. Um, giving him credit, time to get back here. Come on, you know, you can't hide forever, Amanda. You know this was happening. <laughs> we sang back at the first limit break. You're not getting out of the second time. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take too long because uh, we got to kind of get the marathon going. <laughs> We can always restart the song anytime we want. Those are some sweet, sweet tunes. But we so. get to hear that, that opening Sega CD music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get to stay here forever, you know? <laughs> this is so intense, isn't it? Well, it didn't load the game. <laughs> 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 Oops, too long. <laughs> There, there he is. is. Okay, you guys ready for this? Uh, golf. I know. <laughs> 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 it's not loading the game right now. Let's see. Uh, I might actually have to. Uh, I can't see the sheet though. Oh yeah, he has to get over here also to get the sheet. Yeah, we got it. How about you two get between me? There we go. I might have to throw my other copy of the game in because I beat the game and suddenly stops working. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, can someone hand me my bag? It's it's crying. It knows what's coming. <laughs> Please, stop. Like don't any work. good speedrunner, I not only come with one copy, I come with two copies, okay? <laughs> because they're not expensive enough already. Speedrunners, he, he comes prepared. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't buy two copies of the game. It's not <laughs> welcome on your wallet, okay? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, you can't really hear it? Oh, you can, because you got the speaker. Am I supposed to put a headset on or no? <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> okay, so you have been warned. Um, anything that happens because of this <laughs> is his fault. <laughs> you should have stayed away when you could. <laughs> you know I can't stay away. I know. <laughs> So okay. I, 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 okay. So. So yeah, you'll they'll start with the picture, and then you'll start the boom, 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 and then hopefully you know if you don't know where to pick up, you'll hear it from me. <laughs> Ready? When all the land is peaceful and there's no real threat to us at last, then comes the time for love. Two hearts colliding into one great hymn. The big words foreboding, and there is a dark storm that will soon pass. Kiss me, my love, then go for time, for Valor has returned. <laughs> I was going to say, you're, like, you're yeah, a little off here. It's all good. I felt like I was missing something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? I'm through the night. 
Keep marching on. <laughs> Fighting through the darkness, all is evil, so we must press on. Friendship, fortune battle, watch your backs now, take heed. Chorus. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> or the bridge, I'm sorry, okay? We, we, we just sang the chorus. I never said I was musically okay. anything. You know what? It doesn't matter. Well, we got time to talk. It's the chorus or bridge. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah. Come back to me. Yeah, it's missing the notes. Ready? <laughs> Fighting through the darkness, all is evil. Still we must press on, flying towards the power that enslaves us. Yet we are not done racing towards the climax of the battle. To return to love, valiant against the power, evil forces. Take heed. I think it's evil force. Oh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Lunar. Uh, Enjoy the rest of the show. And that was Lunar the Silver Star with High Spirits, accompanied with a grand opera. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break here and switch up hosts. And thank you all for watching and stick around. <laughs>